Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, and I hope you are all doing well. So, where was I yesterday? <laughs> um, so, um, I, I don't know if I have long COVID or not, um, but I do know this much. I have never been more fatigued in my goddamn life, and it has not stopped. I'm still fatigued now, but I'm at least awake and functional enough that I can come upstairs, sit here, and stream for you guys. So, we are going to carry on with observation today. I'm feeling better than I did last time I came on stream. Again, I'm so sorry, but this, this is the thing with having health issues. Streaming every day is really, really tough. But, here we are. We're going to have fun. We're gonna have a good day. We're gonna carry on with observation. Uh, we'll see how much we can we can get done today. And who knows? Maybe we'll even play some more games too. Oops! Just assault my microphone because that's what you do. That's what you do, Sunny Jim. So we'll just we'll see how much we can get done today. We'll have some fun. We'll have a good time with it. Make sure it's uh, make sure it's a good time. Yes, turns the microphone off. Also, don't forget, guys, we are raising money for the Alzheimer's Research UK. We're raising money um, until the 8th uh, of September, I believe, at this point, because I'm adding eight days on because I had eight days off because of COVID. I'm not going to add a day on for every single day that I miss, only because uh, it's it's just never going to work. I'm, I think the problem is, I think it's only once I've ever done a charity month and been able to hit every single day. Uh, and some of those streams are like an hour long. Um, because you get days where it's just hard to stream. And I prefer doing longer streams that are better quality. Rather than me sitting here for an hour falling asleep or being ill or being in pain and stuff. Like, I just... To me, that just doesn't seem <laughs> very worth it for you guys, for me. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that we, uh, you know, we have a good time. Started your four systems. Nothing that makes any sense. Oh, I'm sorry. To be honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. I can't say I blame you. I'd be terrified anyway, in your position too. Without you, I'm not going anywhere. So I'll go back. Okay, first off. Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Did she fix us? I hope so. I hope she fixed us. Because I don't, I don't want to uh, be a evil robot or evil AI. I want to I wanna actually help her. Okay. Okay. So, Sam. Here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. Okay. I think it's related to power. Mm -hmm. A lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so... Right. I'm going to try something different here. Okay. What are we doing? Okay. That's audio, at least. Ooh. Almost there. Just a sec. <laughs> Shit! Shit! <laughs> I'm afraid you're back when you come okay, on so in. I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. Okay. You should be able to take control of this and It'll move around the station. Oh, that's cool. It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see and. Ooh. Let you wirelessly connect to non-station devices. You're so smart. Laptops. Wish I had half of that intelligence. My God, I'd love that. Looking good, Sam. Thank you. Okay. I think so. Let's see if you can move it. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. We like to move it. Do 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 do. Okay. 
turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Okay. Oof. Oh my god. Good. Good. Is that that? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think. There are more controls for translation any, uh, and rotation. Options. But I'll let you figure them out. Looks a bit jittery for me. To you should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Okay. Try it now. Sure. Uh. Okay. The Sphere CO2 refill station is online. Oh, right. That's how I okay. do that. Okay, got great. It. That works. Now, you can release yourself from the Sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Okay. Right now. Sphere tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. Cool. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, mm -hmm. or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Reconnect to your sphere now. Um, okay. Right. Let's cool. test out your sphere connection systems. Connect to the laptop above the workbench. Once you're connected, attempt to download whatever data is left. Okay. Can do that. Oh God. Sphere's best practice. Gun Sphere's best practice. Development and control of microgravity guidance spheres on observation is overseen by Dr. Emma Fisher. Uh, operator interface for guidance spheres can be found through a graphical user interface (GUI) that can be located to crew member workstations and is planned uh, a planned upgrade to the existing SAM system during the observation mission. Guidance spheres are propelled by short, harmless emissions of CO2 and allow the user to inspect and repair both internal and external ship apparatus. Microgravity guidance spheres are still experimental stage. Okay. Great. Cool. Can't believe that all actually worked. Right. So, the rest of the station is dark, mm -hmm. and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. Okay. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board. The EFR. Okay. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. Sweet. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew. Okay. So... I'm guessing that there's no point to me using this at the moment, then. Um, EFR, yeah. So we gotta go here. Oop. No response. Okay. Hatch is open. Connection sphere acquired. Oh, okay. So do we actually have to take the the sphere down there then. Out. Okay. Okay. Can I Okay, let's go in here. Still eight. Kind of like, uh, kind of uh, motion sick inducing, I won't lie. Okay, so we're on six now, so we've got to get to five, then to three. What's that one then? Captain's module. So in E6, there's a, a captain's module. Oop, what's that? Hatch control, okay. Okay. Ooh, uh. Ow. God, moving this thing is not the easiest. Okay, let's have a look. What do cameras fail to initiate? System administrations. 
kind of curious. Can we can we manage to get in the captain's module? Because we have uh, we have control. Mm. Required schematic. I wonder how we get the schematics and stuff done. I think we gotta go this way. Have we? Oh god, I'm lost. Uh, okay, yeah, this way. So we go in here. Ooh. Sam, was that you? I think the backup batteries are struggling to cope. Hang on a sec. I can't fucking see. What was that? Oh, okay. I switched off a few other systems. Seems to have helped. I don't know how much longer this will last. We need the EFR online. Alright, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen. Just... Uh, oh god. <laughs> Ow! Can help. Message from home, please, Sam. Hey guys, it's like 4 a.m. with you, but we just went by Florida and I saw Jackson and them all lit up. It never gets old. And, hmm. Well, I just wanted to say hey. Things okay. are great up here, and work is going smoothly. Although Houston keeps changing their minds on what they want me to focus on. I'm hoping I'll get more info soon, though. Still. It's all good. Message in, Sam. Oh. That's cute. Okay, how do we get from... So, we have to go left or right. Which you mean makes sense. Ah, by here. Okay. Ah, this is the one we need to go in. Right, got you. Oop. Okay, system link. Ah, okay. Technical diagram, East Hatch schematic. I'm guessing ESA. Or well, it might, might just okay, be ESA. You should now be able to refer to that schematic to unlock the hatch via your system links. Okay. Use schematic in camera mode. Oh, right. You have to be in camera mode to use schematics. Okay. Wasn't sure. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. So, L easy headlock. Okay. L1. One, two, three. So, L1 is one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Do you know what? I'm actually going to take a photo because I actually hate that. The fact that I can't, like, have that up at the same time, in my opinion, is just stupid. It's just an excuse to make something a little more complicated than it needs to be. One, two, one, two, three. Hatch is done. How do I know which one it is? Let's do L3 first. Okay, that makes more sense. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. Hey! Look at us! Look at us doing a good job. Is this? You're pretty much on your own, I'm afraid. 
Do what you can, just get it online. What? Okay, there's gotta be... There's gotta be some information around here that we can uh, we can use. Maybe a laptop or something. Okay, storage bag. Really? Nothing? What the fuck? Okay, maybe I'm overthinking it. System turned out. Redirect power. Adjust magnet strength. Enable containment. Okay. Um, okay, the white stick doesn't do anything right now, so... Inject plasma. System timeout. I don't understand what I meant to do. Oh, am I just meant to put them all to a hundred? Maybe. So I'm so confused. Like this game has explained absolutely nothing. I'm so fucking confused. Do I just have to maybe get it on like that? So it just just hits the circle maybe? Maybe that's it. Oh wait, is it meant to Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay, I'm the idiot here. That makes sense. Right, let me... Come on. Like that? Hmm. So if it's not... I thought it might have been like, you have to put it in this circle. I don't, I don't get this. Like, at all. This makes no sense to me. Whatsoever. Maybe it's like, very specific. Like this. Shrink this one down. Oh, I hear it beeping, so I'm guessing I'm doing this right. Yeah. How is that right? Good job. How is that any different to what I just did? I'm so confused. Thanks, Sam. The power's coming back on now. Well, I'm glad I could help. Kind of. I'm running low on oxygen, so let's get a move on. Okay. What we got to do? Ah, oh, there she is. Hello. Oh. Uh, Sam. I don't know why stuff turned off. Sam, is that you making that noise? I don't think so. Oh Sam, no, it is. Turn off the noise. Oh, Sam, it's happening again. What are you doing? See what? It's. I can't explain it. I, I can feel it. What the fuck is that? What? Oh, uh. 
Oh, I don't know what the other one was. Oh, it's angry with me. Okay, yeah. Show me again. Ah, circle with circle. Lines. Okay, okay. I got you, I got you. So we gotta go boom, boom, boom. Bim, bath, pow. Oh! Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Excuse me. Oh god, I'm not good at this kind of shit, man. Uh, that one, then that one. Then lines, then that. Yeah. I think that was it. Yay! You're going to make me do five now, aren't you? Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. So far. Pong. Squares. Oh, okay. Um, circle, pong, squares. Oh. Oh. Going to be yawning a lot today. I apologise. That's why caffeine is going to be my best friend today. Oh. Where are we going? Ooh, spooky. I don't know why or how you were doing this. Doing this, but I need you to help me, Sam. Oh. I need to know what is going on. Two hours after incident. Okay. I need the crew. Power online. The power is back, but the hatch to Universal is still offline. I need you to find out what the problem is. Okay. Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. So we gotta do another systems diagnostic, okay. Got you, I got you. Okay. Uh module EAS3. Hull contact points are unresponsive. They maybe took some stress during the spin. Maybe. Okay, so the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. That we can fix. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Ooh. Looks like you're going on your first spacewalk, Sam. I'll take that. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. Okay. To upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS 11. Okay, where's Once EAS 11? Updated, we'll get you oh, okay, it's, only, it's right next to where we are. EVA permission now. The internal airlock hatch is now open. Okay. Okay, so this is 10. Ooh. What am I looking at there? EMU collaboration unit. I I don't know what that is. Hey, sorry. Okay, right, we gotta go back then. And then, is this E? Ah, it is. Okay. Is this it? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, to offer maximum ability and protection from the vacuum of space, there are a minimum of three sphere upgrades for additional abilities helpful in carrying out the relevant work. With prior to exterior activity, EVA scanning the appropriate upgrades with the spheres in ESA 11 will allow new firmware to be applied, enabling those features using a terminal or placing a request on SAM. Users may combine script comply with all feature scripts to apply. Okay. So we got light, speed, or signal. 
I'm guessing we need signal? Right? Or do we just scan them all? Okay. Ooh. Oh, I guess we just scan them all then. Okay. Look at me fucking overthinking shit as always. Uh, data combination files in memory core. Uh. Oh, over here somewhere. Oh, memory core. Got you. Combine data. Supplement view data. Oh, okay. If they're green, I combine them. Got you. Great. That's you all set up. Okay. Get those module clamps fixed, Sam. Okay. Do we have to go out here then, I'm guessing? Okay. Uh. Close. Oh, I need to depress, of course. For a second then, I was very confused. I was like, why is this not the working? The control uh, panel where you can rearrange the clamps is on the outer hull of EAS-3. Oh, okay. Where's EAS-3? maybe check out a US-12 There's two. Ready. Wow. This actually looks really cool, you know. I really like it. It's really pretty. When did uh, when did Observation come out? Then was it? I'm assuming it's quite the old game because I've got. Straight um, down, Sam. The controls are at the bottom of the EAS arm. Did she say ES arm or ES three? I can't remember. Oh God, there's so much fucking shit to look at. I'm confusing myself now. Please repeat your previous request. Sam, get those clamps disengaged. I'll be watching your feed. Yeah, fucking where again, love? Okay, right. It's fine, it's fine. We got the hatch three clamps by here. I'm guessing this is it. Okay. Uh, clamp not engaged. Clamp closed. How do I... Oh, start clamp reset. Got you. Okay. Uh, hold X. Activate. Excuse me. Okay. Hold triangle. Release triangle. Release X. Oh, okay, I've got you, okay. It's very, like, simulating. Very simulation. I can't, I like it and I don't like it. Does that make sense? Like, there's some parts of it I really, really like. Like, this, this kind of stuff's kind of cool. But then there's some parts of it where I'm like, well, you give me nothing. How, how am I meant to work stuff out? I'm, I'm a silly billy. It takes me a long time to work out stuff when I'm told what to do, let alone when I don't get told anything. That's I'm it. a very silly billy. The whole connection points are reading true. Cool. I think that's working. Okay, we fixed yeah. it. It's working. Awesome. It's gonna take a few minutes while the module connection runs its pressure checks. That's fine. Sam, while you're out there, take a closer look at the damage you detected earlier on the station exterior. Okay, where did what I see it? See? Uh, spacewalk, few details. Oh, this is, okay. Inspector zero damage for possible causes. Um, where did I see damage? Because I can't remember specifically where I, uh, I saw damage earlier. Was it, the, these are damaged? Yeah, 
that's damaged, right? That looks damaged, so... Could that be... No? See, this is my only issue with this, is that it doesn't tell you jack shit. Like, okay, I'm fine with looking at the damage. Where is it again? Like, where did I see damage? Also, different view. I'm, I'm outside now. Like, it's not like I've got cameras that are secured. I have to actually go looking. Be nice to have a little bit of uh, assistance, you know? That looks like damage. So why can't I respond to that? That's clearly damage. Or am I meant to inspect exterior damage for possible cause? Oh, okay. Well, what the fuck am I meant to... What, how am I meant to know what caused it? What the fuck? I feel like I need a guide for this game because the game doesn't tell you anything. I mean, I'm all for working stuff out for, like, myself. Fine with that. That's cool. But when you literally give... Like, I mean, Christ, we played through... Um, oh, no, I've forgotten what it's called. I feel bad now. The game that the wonderful Riska bought for me. Return of the Oberdin. Like, that literally gives you nothing. You have to work everything out. But at least it made sense in that context. Like, this doesn't feel like it makes much sense at all. Like, giving me fuck all to work with. Like, that, that that doesn't help, like, at all. Maybe I'm just being stupid. I could, I'm, I mean, I'm not putting that past me. I am a dum-dum. But, like, I, I don't know. It's very weird. Oh, maybe I meant to look at the ends? Because that, that is actually, like, visibly fucked up. So, maybe we're meant to look at them. Maybe I really am an idiot. Because that's damaged, but I can't scan it. Inspect exterior damage for possible cause. Well, I've tried look at... So that's exterior damage, but I can't scan it. I found dents in there. I can't scan. I can't scan that. So what the fuck are you talking about? Find exterior damage and scan it. Like, you're, hot, you're full of shit. Like, I just found three places with exterior damage. And like, no, nothing wrong there. Oh, is this the airlock? Oh, it is. It's the airlock. I might actually have to look up a guide, because I have no idea. And I don't want to just be like, I want to experience the game, man. Oh, maybe it's this thing, because it's, like, disconnected. Was this the... This must have been the one we had to disconnect before. Maybe there's something on this. I don't like poo-pooing on games, right? That's not that's not my thing. I, I don't like doing that. I'm not I'm not teenage James anymore. But it's like I don't know, man. Like it doesn't really give you anything to go off, and I hate that. Okay, right. Where am I meant to go? Let's let's have a look at this this guide, shall we? I got a guide up just to be safe because I knew I was going to struggle with this. Okay, so we need to find ES... What was it? EAS4. Oh, what we saw before. Wait, hold on. But I saw ESA4. Or EAS4, sorry. Um, there was nothing on it. Am I losing my mind? Am I going crazy? Probably. Oh, what's that? Maybe that's something? Oh! <gasps> no, that's the, the, the hatch clamps. God damn it. Okay, where's ESA4? Why do I keep calling it ESA as well? EAS. What is this? British benefits? Um, Where the bloody hell is it? How am I not finding stuff? Why am I so silly? Holy shit. Oh my gosh. But pardon me. Okay. Oh, 
Ooh. ESV4. Okay. Found you. Right. Where are... Out of range. Ooh. Damage to EAS4 exterior is extensive. Maybe if we had gotten the hatch open on time. <sighs> okay. Ow! Okay, what am I looking for Ooh, next? Ooh, hull contacts. Wait. Is that a thing? No. What are we looking for? That's so obscure, though. I, I really don't like that. Like, I, I don't like that. That's too obscure. I'm fine with obscure and exploring, but when you're just ex obscure for the sake of it... No. <laughs> Not for me. Uh, okay, let me let me have a look here. Maybe now we can scan this one. Um, yeah, because that's clearly damaged, right? But oh, it does say look for reasons the damage is there, not the damage. So that's me misunderstanding. Okay, where's what's the next thing? I wish it told me like what the next area I, I have to inspect was. So I don't just have to keep going around the entire fucking space station just to find, like, one part that I have to scan. Okay, I'm just going to look up what the, the name is. The next damage part is on CNO3. CNO3. Have we seen that somewhere? Did we scan it? Maybe we scanned it already. Oh god, that's all apart by there. That's fun. Maybe this is it? That looks broken and damaged. Maybe this is it. Cuz I can't I can't actually see anything like outside, so Okay. Maybe this is it, because it's, like, all broken apart and stuff. Okay, that's EA... What was it? EA-12? Okay. So it's not this one, then. Okay. Solar panels. I feel like it's, like, around here somewhere. I don't know. Okay, there's EAS-4. Oh. Okay. Maybe down, like, over here somewhere? Ooh. Ooh, ooh! No, that says CASA. I thought it was gonna say, like, CN or something, and I was like, oh! I found the area. Oh! CNO3. An yes. Unknown material ah, is present at hull fracture points. That looks like what I found in EAS4. What the hell is it? Bring the sphere back inside and meet me in EAS3. Oh. Let's get this hatch open. Looks like it's like all burned. Okay. It looks like it's like all burned and damaged. Okay, now I gotta try and fucking find the uh, the hatch again. Where did I go when I saw the uh, the hatch? I could go back inside. Is that? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Low power levels. That's wonderful. It's taken me a while. <laughs> I, I do you know what it feels like? It feels like the reason they don't tell you like, hey, go check over here and stuff. I get they want you to explore, which is fine. But I feel like if they actually gave you, like, an objective marker where to go kind of thing, how much do you want to bet that you could finish this within, like, an hour? And that's why they've not done it. Which, by the way, if that's the case, that's your fucking problem as, as the developer. Like, don't, don't fucking, you know, punish the player by giving them fuck all information. Or at least, you know, give the option. Like, do you want more accurate places to look or would you rather work it out all yourself i think can't remember what game we watched or sorry not watched played before what was it where it was like you could turn off markers and stuff can't remember 
Right, let's go to Emma. The hatch lights are on. Cool. Connection to universe is holding. Cool. Great work, Sam. Thank you. Now, lift the lock down on the hatch, please. Okay. Uh, unlock EAS three hatch. Uh, so is that? It must be by here somewhere, right? Oh, it might be behind me actually. Hold on. It's so hard to work out where stuff is as well. Like that's another thing. Okay, maybe it's this one. Oop. Okay. Ah, yes, we need the uh, need the image because I cannot be fucked to uh, do this. One, two, three, four, five. It unlocked. Yeah, we did it. Okay, okay, that's it open. Here we go. Here, let me. Oh. You're carrying us through. I approve. Hello? I'm still here. Elsa? May? Stars? Hmm. Where the hell is everyone? Good question. So I wonder if they got, like, teleported or something. Maybe that's why we're not, like, seeing them as much. That's kind of sad, actually. That's your universal camera systems back online now. Oh. So keep an eye out for anything while you work. Jesus Christ, we have so much fucking stuff. What the hell? Hello? Is someone there? Me, it's Emma. You have no idea how happy I am to hear you. We've just made it to Central. Who is we? Me and Sam. I don't know where anyone else is yet, except... Except Stas. He's dead, mate. Oh, God. How? It looks like Central depressurized. It's mm. okay now, though. Uh, he's in his suit, but I, I don't think he had O2. What about Jim? Josh? Ailsa? Nothing yet. We had like a full power outage. Sam has lost most of his functions and we're slowly getting him back up to speed. Okay. I'd like to help, but I'm stuck in the Chinese arm. There's okay. something wrong in UN3. It's all locked down. I'll get Sam this... into it right now. Oh, I was Sam, gonna say it's only thing we check can do. The station alerts. Make that the priority if you can. Okay, station alerts online. Uh can I look at this first?
Oh, Ant, my man. Thank you very much for the follow, you legend. I appreciate it. How you doing, brother? Hopefully you're well. Hope all is well, bro. Oh, I appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much. Oh. Okay. I appreciate that, brother. How's things with you? I hope you're good. Oh, I'm incredibly grateful for that. Okay, what are we meant to be doing again? Station alerts. Huh. Okay. Uh, coolant network. Crew tracker. Uh, not too bad. I'll be around slowly waking up. Ah, oh, no worries, brother. No worries. You take it easy. The coolant network is reporting multiple errors. Recommend investigation. Hope you give us problems later on. Have a look at the network hub, please, Sam. Where's the network hub? On the call. Can I see it on that? Is there something? Hmm. Oof, one follow away, and then we've got a 12 hour horror stream. <laughs> That'll be good. Uh, okay, maybe it's, maybe you have to be in here. Okay, what am I meant to do? Fix the coolant network in UN03. Ah, okay. So we have to go to this UNO3. There. I can hear you in there, Sam. The door is locked down, and I think there is an override active. Something atmospheric? I got you, I got you. We'll get you out. You'll be fine. Quite a schematic not found. Hmm. Okay, so I had that. That's gonna get annoying. Well, I mean, at least it keeps me on my toes, I guess. So I can't really grumble too, too much. Okay, L3. Oh, God, that's so awkward to see. Okay, three over, one, two, three, three four down. Four. Error, hatches offline. Oh, for fuck. God. How do I. How do. Wait, what? How do. What? How do I get the hatch online? Oh! Cool, that would not. Here we go. This will help. Okay, system linked. Let's have a look. Of course, I haven't got the right schematic. Right. Okay, cool. Online via systems link. Okay. Um. Can we respond? Dream required, not achievable. What the fuck do you mean? Look how close I am. Oh, God, this game. Maybe we need to connect to all the coolant notes, maybe. That's why. I'm hoping that I'm going to get into this game very soon, because if I don't, I think I'm just going to switch <laughs> to a different game for a bit, because i got to be honest, I'm not enjoying... I was hoping I was going to enjoy this a lot more, like it looked really interesting, trailers looked really cool, but i got to be honest, I'm not enjoying this as much as I was hoping. Oh, here we go. Coolant Network Schematic. Of course it looks like shit, because, you know, why wouldn't it? Configuration one, two. Oh. oh, excuse me, I apologize. Ooh. Hey Sam. Ooh. Message for Emma. 
Okay. Hey, it's me. Good news is Jim finally pulled me off USES Oop. reactor tests as Houston won the EFR on standby tomorrow. So, out of nowhere, the captain gave us a window between shifts, meaning we get to be awake at the same time for once. A new restaurant just opened called EAS 12. No. Food is terrible, but it's got a great view. See you there at 0100. I'd say let's hang out at your bunk, but it's a tight fit, and that woman who sleeps opposite keeps rolling her eyes. Hmm. Oh, and there's the bottom half. Okay, because you couldn't just, you know, do it easily. Fucking stupid. Right. Combined data files now available on the memory core. Yes. Okay. I like this. This is cool. That com the combining of stuff to make stuff work. Like, that's, that's cool. I like that. That's unique. Okay, maybe now we can sort out the coolant system because we've got the schematics for it, right? So, if I go here. How do I know which one I'm working on? A one configuration. Five, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, it's not that, that one. How do I... How do we get you online? Let's have a look here. Let's get everything connected, shall we? Let's try a circle. Don't think that laptop's on. Ooh. Cooler network hub. Here we go. Okay. Got you. Okay, cool. Reset procedure, operational nodes. Not ready, not ready. Hub controlled. Okay, I see. So that shows us. Okay, which number links up with which? Okay, okay. So I think this one is configuration three. So configuration three is 726. Oh god, that's the fucking longest one as well. Of course it is. Um. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that one apparently isn't that one. Okay. Is it that one? Okay, it's not that one either. Maybe it's two. So that Okay, that just didn't work, apparently. Or maybe it's like gotta go backwards. Okay, apparently that's just not one. Oh, it isn't, right. <laughs> I realized what I did. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. I can see the light in here flashing. How is that too? The system again. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna guess them. <laughs> so we know this one isn't two, though, at least. So, I mean, we've got that on our side now. Okay, not that one. So maybe it's three. So one, two, three, four. Okay, that was four. I don't know how that was four, but whatever. I'll I'll take it. At this point, at least uh, at least I'm getting through it, so I'll take it. Okay, not you. Oh, so you must be three. It 
Hey. Okay. Uh. So if we go here now. Okay, when all nodes are ready, I should control the fan. Start. Cool never Five six. All right, okay, okay. Initiate. Hold controller. Confirm. We did it! Good job, Sam. That'll allow us or anyone else access to the Universal Modules 3 and 4 as well as the Shenzo arm. Okay! <sighs> oh, there she is. Okay. We had the same problem on the EAS arm. I think whatever moved us to Saturn caused us to shake. Wait, what? Saturn? Yeah. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. I say it's a long story, but all I know is that Sam thinks he brought us here. Shit. <sighs> Excuse me. Christ, I don't know where to begin. Leave Look, me alone. I'll, I'll head outside and try to get this sorted. I still have my suit and plenty of O2. Be careful, mate. Yes, I'll be definitely fine, be Emma, careful. 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 Okay. Okay. So we need to go here. Fix high priority station alerts. Okay, we're still going through this then. So I guess crew the tracker. The connection next. between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. I need those sensors working. Go get them online and I'll fix up the crew tracker from this end. Okay. Uh. Huh. Enable the crew tracker in UN1. Oh, okay. So just go through all these then, I guess. You got anything on the laptop? Oh, not yet, because it's not turned on. Of course. Oop. Hatch control. Oh, something else. What we got? Message for the Chinese Climate Initiative. We are Houston, Sam. Elsa Yang aboard observation here. And leaving an overnight data drop on your system, which should provide the final readings for analysis and presentation at the Beijing Climate Congress next month. I said before, but it bears repeating. If any unexpected delegates sign up, I can make myself available <laughs> for translation <laughs> duties. Oh. The only language I get to use up here is English, and I need to keep the wheel spin. Fair. Okay. Um, 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 what else have we got? It's just trying to find shit. Like, I don't know, it's done in such a fucking convoluted way that it's just not fun. Like, it's just annoying. Okay, is that the crew tracker thing? Oop, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got hatch control. Okay, let's add that. Go to square. System linked. We don't have the schematic for these ones though, okay. That's fine. Um Okay, that's the schematic. Well, I'm not fine. Okay, I'm just gonna look at this. Uh, Right hand side wall, camera. Oh, wait, that's CN. Oh, 
I'm in the wrong place. Oh, I'm an idiot. Ah. Got you. I knew that. <laughs> I am an idiot. Okay. What we got? Okay, enable sensor. Enable sense adjust. Sensor enabled. Okay. So yellow to green. Okay. So yellow. I feel like this would be better on PC than it would be on console because it's Sensor a little bit one is online with, and receiving uh, data. with a controller. But that's my fault for playing it on uh, a console. Right, where are we going next? Uh, UN3. Okay. Ah, there it is. Got you. Okay, so let's put the power on for it. I definitely think it's unique. It's cool, but it's just I don't know. So white to green. So boom, 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 boom. That's sensor two online now as well. Nearly there. Okay, UN six was the next one, I believe. Uh, so over here. Let's get that PC turned on. I want that laptop. There's the last sensor one. Okay, got you. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. Enable. So you gotta go white to green. Okay. Got you. Them all online now. I'm almost done here, thanks to you. Cool. Right, let's get back to our uh, crew tracker is online. Where's my crew, Sam? Life support terminal. Why am I not allowed? Locate crew. Okay. Crew tracker. Jim. Corruption. The tracker for Jim Elias is showing corrupted data. There must be a fault or a networking issue. Is there any location or medical info? Captain Jim Elias is located in the Russian arm. I am unable to determine his exact location. Okay, is there any biomedical data making it through? There is no biomedical data being received hmm. for Captain Jim Elias. Okay, what about Josh? Please tell me you have something on him. The tracker for Josh Ramon is showing a weak connection. Can we get a position on him? Is there any biomedical data showing? The location of Josh Ramon is unknown. Is there any sensible data coming through for him? 
There is no biomedical data being received for Josh Ramon. Jim. He's in the Salute somewhere. Good. Get him to sort this mess out. Tell him he owes me an explanation. Wait. It looks like your camera's in the Russian armor offline. Let me get that for you now. Okay. Get a visual on the captain for me, Sam. Where is he? May as well add that here while we're here. There's a sphere in there. Not in there either. About three. Okay, nothing in there. Uh, did we check for? We did, didn't we? Briefly, didn't have like a, a proper look around. No. Right, nothing to there. I'd love to like try and get all of the laptops and everything, but I just can't be asked. Because I'm assuming that's where we get like a lot of our uh, story behind the scenes stuff from. See anyone? The cameras in RU6 are failing to initialize. Okay, I can do that now actually. What we got? That's them online. Well, oh. Captain Jim Elias is located in RUS 6. We should be able to access the Russian arm now. Jim, it's Emma. I have your location. I'm heading to you now. Why isn't he responding? Enter pin. Uh, why does someone tell me that he's not alive anymore? You know what I mean? Like, he ain't breathing. Don't have the schematics, because of course not. Why? That would make things too fucking easy. It was like 93338. Okay. 9338. Ooh. Russian, Russian schematics. At least I can open up everything now, which should be good. Um, Message from crew. Whatever happens next, thank you. All of you. I don't mean to be cryptic. Sorry. Hmm. Sam, I can't get in. The hatch control is damaged. I'm aware. You're fine. Don't worry. Shit. Let me think. Shut up and let me do my job. Get in. And open this hatch from the other side. Work done, then. So I'm guessing he's no longer with the living. Captain. Pardon me. I 
can't believe this is happening. Oh, God. May. What is happening? Emma, I need your help. I'm at the panel, but the controls aren't responding. Suggestion. I'll get Sam out to you. He can wirelessly connect. There's another sphere in RUSO2 next to the airlock. Use that. <sighs> Excuse me. Second spacewalk? I love how I'm not allowed to do this in in that format. I have to do it in this format. Like, why? That's literally just there to make the game longer. And it's a scummy thing to do. Right, okay, I'm going to check my schematics and go to the right one now. Okay, so I think it's this one again. Hatches offline. What? What? I always forget how to put the hatch online. Okay, I guess we'll just have a look around the room. See what we can find. Still here. He's even broken protocol to delay my sleep cycle for some space janitor at least. Yeah. Watching dials, running checks, backing up transmission data for a full five hours. All while Sam does the very same, of course. I don't know why he's got a schedule like this. We're all on different sleep arrangements and we barely get time to work together. This isn't how we normally do things, if you are wondering. I'm sure future missions will feel a little less isolated. Interesting. Okay. Um, anything else we can do on this camera? No. Maybe. Okay, there was a camera down here. Maybe there's something. Oop, document. The airlock control stuff. Oh! Get out here, Sam. I'm outside the Chinese office. I was Get looking at the wrong one, one. Whoops. Decompression. Decompression. Oh, right, it's by here. Okay, good. Okay, Sam. I'm patched into your sphere feed now. Where you should she? be able to link to the sphere and hear us. Okay, where where is she located again? I'd like a reminder. Please repeat your previous instruction. Go out to May, Sam. Find her. D fuck it. I hate the fact that this game just goes, go, go, go find her. Like... Give me some more fucking specifics. It's like he gave it to me once and went, we expect you to just remember. Thanks. Okay. Great. I'll just fucking dick around for 20 minutes trying to find someone. When you could literally have just given it to me again. I don't know, man. I'm trying to enjoy this game. I really am. Because it is unique. It's unique. It's cool. Oh and I God, like Sam, the idea. Where? Is she okay? Fucking where? She's moving. Oh, what? What? Where? Do I'm so confused. Is that her over there? What? 
Oh, I see ya. I know there is a way of resetting them out here, but I'm not sure how I need stuff. May, I'll send Sam to reset the hull contact points. I had the same issue in the EAS arm. If he can fix them, you can head back inside instead of having to move around all the way to the EAS airlock. Hmm. Okay, Sam, reset the hull contact points between China and Universal, please. Okay. We go Xi'an 01 hatch clamps. Okay. Uh, where's that? I'm guessing it's around here, right? Like, I'm guessing it's going to be next to where May is. Like, I can't imagine that they're gonna fucking send you, like, all the way over the other side or whatever. Um, so I'm guessing it's... I did just see something, then, but... The problem is, this handle's like ass. Okay, hell contact points over here. Which means that the actual thing should be around here somewhere, right? Uh, okay, maybe it's connected up here. Ow. Okay. So, uh, fuck's sake. This thing handles like ass on console. Okay, there it is. Got you. Let's connect up. Okay. This one. Good work. Get back to May so I can update her. She should be able to access Shenzo again. Okay. Ooh. Hi, May. Oh, that's cool. Sam I like the pack one. That's you can really, get really back cool. inside and meet me in Universal now. Okay, okay. I much prefer that option. Sam seems to think. May. The storm. You're breaking up. I'm heading back to. Uh oh. Uh. I'll be with you soon. Sam, are you seeing this? Oh. Oh no. May got pulled away. What was the storm? See, that's the thing. I really, really like the story of this. It's just hey, Sam, I got like another spear. Seventy percent of the gameplay I just don't like, <laughs> and it's very annoying. I don't know what's wrong with me. Feel. You feel? I feel like I've changed. We all grow and change. That's completely normal. You must not do anything to be changed. Take a look. Duh, cold shiver. Where are we now? Someone's coming to get us, Sam. Ooh. Someone's coming to get us? What do you mean? I'm not sure how much of this I can take. They're just hanging there. The UC2 is we want to be rescued, though. Let's try to contact them in the meantime. Okay. Assuming they aren't all dead. I assume they are not. Let's let's be positive about this. Let's have some positivity. Makes no sense. And you'll probably just give me some broken response. But I'm glad you're here, Sam. I am here, Emma. Yeah. Yeah, you are, aren't you? 
Hello. <laughs> One more time, Sam. Voice authenticate. Okay. Emma Fisher. Why does she keep doing four, this? One, like, why do I have to keep doing the same fucking thing over and over and over? Like, didn't he, uh, didn't the no voice print match detect it? I just accept it. So Sam's deteriorating, it seems. Like, he's getting, um, like, more damaged, I guess, over time. We're online. Okay, let's see. Well, we still have some work to do if we want to speak to anyone. External comms looks good, but the array is facing the wrong way. So, looks like to get a signal out, we are going to need two things. First, we need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours. Okay. Physics lab may have some to that. Okay, right. I got a pee, so I'm gonna go on my first break now. It's a little bit early. I would normally I've been going on breaks a lot more because I'm having to pee a lot more, but I'm drinking a lot more water, which is good. So I shall be right back. Um and then I don't know, I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm kinda struggling with this game because I like the story and I wanna know what happens. But as for the gameplay, it's kind of shoddy. Um, maybe that's just me. You know, maybe it's not for me. I don't know. But I'm just not enjoying this game as much as I was kind of hoping I would. So, I don't know. I'm going to have a think. Maybe we'll switch games. Maybe I'll try and carry on and kind of push through. I don't know. I don't want to force myself to play something that I'm not having fun with, you know. Life's too short. So, I shall be right back, peeps. Just going to, like I say, pop to the toilet.
All right. I'm back. And I decided we were going to switch games. Because you know what? I wasn't enjoying Observation. I, the gameplay to it is just not very fun for me. I just wasn't enjoying it. Not so much like... Not necessarily just like the puzzles. That It's just really slow. Really boring. Just... I don't know. It, I, I couldn't have fun with it. I really, really loved the story. But I just was not enjoying that gameplay. So... Instead, I thought we could play a few games of Fortnite. Uh, I am going to be coming off. Uh, I say coming off. I'm going to be going on my next break at the three hour mark. Uh, I'm actually going shopping with my fiance. So I'll try to be as quick as we I'll try to be as quick as we can be. But obviously, yeah, there's only so fast you can go. Right. So we'll see. Uh, so it's just in locations. I'm going to open. Is it playing? It is. It's playing the Christmas one. Bish, ba, ba, boom, ba, be. All right. I'm not expecting wins. I never get wins on my own. If I'm ever playing with friends, I, I can get a win here and there. But on my own, nah. I'm hopeless. <laughs> hopeless on my own. But yeah, I'm sorry to anyone that was watching on demand or was watching and was wanting to see the end of Observation. I want to see the end of it too. I'm just going to go and watch a walkthrough for it. But yeah, I just couldn't, I don't know. I wasn't enjoying it as much as I was hoping to enjoy it. Um, and uh, I'm not teenage me. I'm not going to sit here and force myself to play something I'm not having fun with. <laughs> oh, I have a sneeze. I'm so sorry. Uh. Well, I've actually got to be careful with the music in this as well. I wonder if... The, uh, I can't remember if there's a streamer mode or not. Right, why is that not on? Apply, please. 120 friends. Very important. <laughs> Show my FPS. Oh, I, no, do you know what? I don't need that. I don't need to see my FPS. That's fine. I do I do like having... I don't know why. Is that just a me thing? Am I weird? I like having like the FPS being shown. <laughs> Am I weird for that? Probably. All right. Let's try and get some missions done then. Because the story stuff has started coming out now as well, so. I am imagining that this is going to be a hot drop. Because everyone's going to be wanting to do the story stuff, so. So we'll do this for uh, up until the three hour mark. And then I'm going to go on break again, because obviously, like I said, I'm going shopping. But when I come back, maybe we'll find another game to do a playthrough for. Could be fun. See if I can find another game that we can start and see if I can get into it and enjoy it a bit, you know? Again, not not expecting to do well, but as long as I can get the objectives done, ah, I'm good with that. I don't mind if I get killed straight away and you know and whatnot. Like I'm fine with that. I would rather just get the objectives done because you're gonna get more XP for that anyway. So. What is that? Ooh. And also probably a prototype. Oh, cool. You should take a closer look at it and hope. Why me? Oh, it's part of the whole subject of a dark prophecy job description. Uh, been there. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the fuck happened there? I had a golden weapon and I couldn't fucking defeat him. James, my boy, you suck. Uh, bring Dr. Doom's helmet to Hope. What do we have his helmet on us? 
Do we have his helmet on us? We just have to go to hope. I don't know. Very disappointed in myself then. I should have done better. But that's okay. Well done, person. Good kill. Titim. Titim. Of seven. You did good. Come on. Why do I feel like that was a bot against a bot? Why do I feel like I was killed by a bot? That's even more upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus. Just couldn't name to save my life. That's how it goes, man. Hey, Spidey. Oh, God, no. Copyright music, get away from me. Audio. Here we go. Here we go. That's cool. I actually didn't realize they put that on. Oh no, not right in front. Oh my god. Why? That's gonna be such a hot drop. I'm gonna be I'm gonna die pretty much straight away, but you know what? That's okay. We'll get this. We'll, oh, we'll get some objectives done. That's the goal for today. No wins. It'd be cool if we could get a win, but if I can get objectives done, I'm happy. That's my goal for today. I want to get through the the missions because, to be fair, the missions and kind of those things, they're the things that you're gonna get a lot of the XP for anyway. So, and that's my cope because I I suck at games. Okay, let's have a look here. Maybe we can find some good weapons. I'm not good with shotguns, so... There we go. I never ever read stuff. I should really read the story stuff. Like, the entire point of it is to read it. I wonder if I can read it still. Uh, I'll take that, and I'll take that. Prophecies. I can't say I can remember this prophecy. It's pretty terrifying. Plus, now I have all my life decisions passed to a glass of water. Eliminate opponents from over 30 meters. Wait, is that a actual mission? Oh, God, it is. Well, that's going to take a while because I'm not a good aim on the best of days. Ooh, when it says eliminate opponents, could I eliminate NPCs? Wait, where's my fucking assault rifle that I bought? Or did I buy two? Pi did I buy two pistols? Am I an idiot? I thought she had an assault rifle that I bought off her. I did. Why did you? That looked like a person. I was very scared for a second. <laughs> Do they count as opponents? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. We'll, uh... Alright, that's, that's two opponents eliminated from 30 meters. Holy shit. I'll take it. You know, I'll take that. Also, I'm going to just shoot these just because... Ammo and Ooh, okay, I'll take them definitely. Uh, ammo and sploosh. Oops. Let's go see what these guys had as well. All right. I am shocked that I actually managed to get those kills. Like, that was lucky. But I'll take it, you know? I'm not going to complain of it. See, now, here's my question. I know this is risky, because there's quite a few of uh, a few of them. But, if these guys count as uh, opponents... Hey! 
Hey, they do. Nice. Hey. It's all XP. I mean, only 100 XP, but it's all XP at the end of the day, right? Find Doom's logs at the memorial statue. What's that? Oh, there we go. Uh, right, where's his logs? Oh, they are a long way away. Ooh. Didn't realise. Whoopsie. Okay, so we'll take them. <sighs> to be honest, I actually kind of prefer... That's why, like, I know it's not as good quality, but I'll take it. Oop. Don't know if I've spoken to this person here, so I shall, uh... I shall talk to them. Oop. Thank you. I shall take that. Okay, where's the person? Oh. Yes, I do not think I have spoken to you yet. Wait, you have... Yes, give me. I'll take that. If I live after a battle, I can heal at least then. Ooh. Take the ammo. Oh. Right. I'm guessing... Oh, they're still in the circle. I'll definitely take that. Just got scanned. Oh. That's okay. Oh, God. I, ju I just want to do the mission. I, I, I'll fight you guys. I mean, I will fight you guys if I have to, but don't make me. I'm lazy. see where there have been battles what am I doing I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up getting myself killed now I had to reload oh it's only 400 meters over there <laughs> I'm still hitting him. God damn. Oh. We got a person with a, a medallion next to us. Everyone's in a fucking car. I mean, smart plan. Like, we can travel quicker. It's safer. I don't think we're going to get these objectives done in this one, though. Although then again, I said that I wasn't sure if I was going to get those kills, and I managed to get them, so maybe I should have some faith in myself. Ooh. Oh, I see you. Let's go. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hope, I, hope you, I hope you had well, like, did well in the game. I'm sorry. Is there a car around anywhere? Because I don't think it's likely that I'm going to get through these very quickly. Otherwise, oh, there is a car. Oh, but it's right there. And there's another car. Oh, he switched cars. Fair enough. I get that. Something just fell. Ooh, fantastic fall. I thought it would cheer me. 
to gaze upon this crumbling monument. Okay. Instead, I feel nothing but vacant hunger. It must be the box. It is exhilarating, but it is also wild, chaotic, uncontrolled. Using the box again, without my armor appropriately upgraded, would be unwise. But I won't have long to wait. My work nears completion. Oh, that's an NPC. I believe it. Right, we could go and fight that person, but again, I want to try and get the objectives done. If I can get the missions done, that's a lot more XP, so I'll take it. And I kind of want to know the story for this one. It's Doom. It's Doctor Doom. Right after, you know, Robert Downey Jr. just got announced that he's going to be playing Doctor Doom again. Uh, again. Yeah. You know what I mean. He back in the MCU. Uh, nice. Sweet. Mother, I am building my new Collect a control chip by hitting headshots on Doom's henchmen. Of failure, a fault, of imperfection. I don't actually know if there's going to be any henchmen left. That's the problem. Because people might have uh, you know. make it perfect. My gentle guiding hand. Or by brutal fist of submission. People fighting. So I have to get a headshot on a henchman. I wonder if there's any henchmen still alive over here. If there isn't, then we might have to wait until the next game to, to do this one. I say might, we will have to, because... The rest are outside the circle. Yeah, I think they're all dead. I mean, it is later into the game now, so I'm not really surprised by that. Wow, someone had like a proper war zone here. Look at this. Get out of here. Get out of here with your shit, sir. That actually did scare me, though. I'm not going to lie. It's like, holy shit, I'm shot. Absolutely take the gold, because I am always running out of money, because I always spend it all. It's like real life. Maybe above? As above, so below. Yeah. I get destroyed the other one, don't I? I will find this chest. Hey, there it is. I'm in a, a pretty okay position in regards to weaponry and stuff. My biggest concern at this point is basically when I get into a fight, just make sure I can shoot first. Yep. Ooh, five chests search in the match. Cool. 
Right, well, we're at that point now where I'm not likely to find any henchmen around here. So, in light of that fact, I think we should go looking for some opponents. And if I die, I die. That's absolutely fine. I'm absolutely fine with that. We've done very well for objectives in this one, so I'll take it. Also, I normally don't have audio when I play this game. So it's a bit weird hearing uh, gunshots and stuff. Seriously? Still over here? This is where I heard gunshots when I was running past earlier. How the fuck are you guys still going? We've just been shooting at each other for the last ten, ten minutes? Five, ten minutes? Like, what the fuck? Ooh. I suspect there was a battle here. I don't like being in a canyon like this. So many spots that are above me that someone could very, very easily just headshot me and that's it. It's all over. Oh, I'm in the circle, but... God, still t 11. I was about to say there's still 12 of us left. Nope, now there's 11. Hey, we've reached 10 players remaining. Look at that. We did it. I've done all right in this one. Done okay. Four kills. Last 10. Bunch of missions done. I'm all right with that. I am fully expecting that someone is in here. Yeah. Does not surprise me in the slightest. Hey, look at that. Thank you, sir. I appreciate. I gotta be honest. I am expecting these to get nerfed. These, the, the dual Uzis are just... The dual micro SMGs, as they're called in this. But they're Uzis, right? They're Uzis. They are absolutely insane. Like, they do so much damage so quickly. And if they don't get nerfed... Jesus Christ, like... Holy fuck. I mean, sure, but... <laughs> people... People die a lot. I think they are my main guns at this point. <laughs> oh, I see two medallions over there. I wonder if they're fighting each other. Where the fuck are they? Alright. Let's go. Time to leave. Oh, we got to run towards the medallions. Um, oh, damn. We're down to five. Holy fuck. All right. Final five. Let's go see if I can survive. Oh, my God. The rind. I can't believe it. I saw that wobble then. Now, I think it's because it got shot at. And the Deadpool there would probably suggest that too. So... Oh, God. Right, let's take a risk. Let's just... Okay, he ran off. That's unfortunate. We do have another medallion person around us somewhere, though. I shouldn't be running everywhere. I should be crouching. Forgotten all my fucking... All my little little things that I used to do to be sneaky. Forgotten them all.
Why are you running? Oh, oh. That is unfortunate on my part. Ooh. Holy shit balls. Well, get that. That's okay. I'm not surprised my location's exposed. Come on, come on, heal, 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 come on, nice, let's pick that up, um, pick that up, let's move you to there, and we need to get going. Make sure everything's reloaded. Ah, I should have dropped that, not my fucking pistol. Problem is now, this is going to be the last, one of the last locations that we're going to be fighting. And it's above ground and I've got to walk up to it. <laughs> and I've got a medallion, so I can be seen as well. Oh. I see you in there with your Captain America shield. Oh. I also see that person. <laughs> Just on the outskirts. That's unfortunate. Right. Let's just go for it. Ooh. Woo no. Ah, damn. I should have taken the shield from before. Do you know what? I'll take that, though. We did really good. We did really, really good. I'll take it. That went better than I was expecting. And do you know what? I like it when that happens. Right. Next. Emma Frost. Wait, what was that? I like that. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Page eight. What do we get? Ooh. Organic diamond frost actually looks kind of cool, you know. It looks kind of sick. So what's the rest for this then? So then we got Captain Jones. Jonesy. There you got Stealth Captain Jones. Yeah, then we got Mysterio. Red Mysterio. Red Myst By the way, Red Mysterio looks awesome. That looks really cool. Supernatural Mysterio. Very cool. And then we got Black Panther. Which also very badass. I approve. And then Doctor Doom isn't out yet. I wonder when it's normally about halfway through, right? Normally about halfway through. And then you got quest rewards which are coming in twenty seven days. So we got twenty seven days till that turns out. Bonus rewards, how are they looking this time? Black oh that looks really cool. I really like Emma Frost's uh Outfits. They are really, really cool. Classic Pilverine. I like it. That's very funny. We got another Mysterio, which is kind of cool. Like that. And then we got Wakanda Royal. Badass. I approve. And then we obviously don't know these ones because we've got to wait. Page unlocks in 15 days. Yeah, so 15 days till we get them. Whew! Oh. Thing is, I know that I could go into like other stuff to do it, but hang on. Daily discovery. I've done that today though, haven't I? Oh no, they've just reset. Ooh. See, that'll be good for me, because that'll be like that's basically a free free couple of levels. Especially with the Mafia Tycoon that I do. It doesn't really take that long anymore. Maybe after this game, I'll uh, I'll do 
do that. But we gotta try and get a headshot on Doctor Doom's minions, right? So, uh, where should we land? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go, Castle Doom. Go big or go home, right? Oh, look. Doctor Doom. I reckon we can. Uh, I reckon we can get this done. Let's let's try and get a headshot. Because this is the yeah, this is the last one for now, and then we gotta wait five days for more. I do have a few of these though, uh, and I've still got my three dailies that I need to try and do. Travel distance while holding a boss medallion. Didn't I? Wasn't I holding a boss medallion? Oh, it might not have been a boss's medallion. Now I'm talking here and now. I'm talking here and now. Let's go. Uh, don't like the fact there's a lot of people dropping here. That makes me very nervous. Because I'll probably get killed straight away. Well, got that done at least, so I'll take it. He's using Doombot technology to control his army remotely. Well, on the bright side, I can stop worrying about how we're going to defeat Doom for now. And focus on how to get to him first. I have a lot to think about. Whew. Let's catch up later. Right. Now we got that done. I don't like just having like two weapons. Personally, I don't think it's a smart idea to do that, but here we are. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm also now without any healing items as well, which is not great. Where are the bad guys? Oh, they might be over there. Ooh. Oh, there's Doom.
Oh, oh I didn't see him. Damn. Good kill. Good kill, my dude. Good kill. Good kill indeed. Get her dirty hands off my space suit. Right, I'm just going to chill. We're just going to chill for a little bit. Play some Mafia Tycoon until uh, I have to head off to go shopping. Because it's a quick way of getting XP. For those of you who are not aware. Because these have uh, reset now, so you get 20, 63k. 63k. That's a lot of XP. And that's not including all the XP you get while playing the community made game as well, so. Did it's not the most entertaining thing to watch, I will grant you. But what we'll do is we'll we'll get the community challenge done. Then we'll um, if we are if we still have time before I have to head off, we'll work out what we're going to play when I come back. Sound good? I could do no Fortnite, I guess, but we shall see. Someone's done this. Someone's reset a hundred and twenty-two times. That is fucking ludicrous. I mean, I think I've reset eight times. Jesus. Right. I claim my base. Give me the money. You know what the sad thing is? I actually find this stuff fun. Like, I genuinely find this fun. I don't think that's sad, though. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I like tycoon games. What can I say? Yeah, I'm aware. Although, I will say this much. Uh, I am going to switch this. Audio for my PC. Because to be fair, it should. Uh, it should. Yeah. I should be listening to it through this. I am going to mute the internet. And I'm going to have something on in the background as well while I chill with you guys. Maybe some music. Ooh. Do you know what? We could go with some music. That wouldn't be a bad chance. What? Why is that? God, YouTube has some fucking weird shit going on. I never, never understand it. Never understand it. Okay, you're not working, so I'm guessing it was turned off. It did turn off. Yep, that's, yep. I'm not, I'm not surprised. That always friggin' happens. Yeah. See, now I can listen to music. I mean, you guys can't hear the music, unfortunately, but... Copyright. How it goes. Forever to touch you Cause I know that you feel me somehow Right, just get this smashed out as quickly as I can And then we can uh, chill then Work out what we're going to play for the rest of today We're one follower away from 300. That's not bad. And if we stay at 300 as well, we got. We're definitely going to be doing that 12-hour horror stream. like the movies yeah you bleed just to know you're alive okay no <laughs> i'm actually gonna i'm just gonna watch watch something 
let's let's find some more like it. It's so weird that you guys won't be able to hear this stuff. Right, there we go. Ooh. So here we are. We're just chilling. Getting some of that community gaming XP. Seven thousand five hundred. I forget about that one. I always forget that one. Oh. Safe battle. I guess we can go and do that. Keeps it a bit more interesting for you guys, I guess. Literally come out here and shoot the safe. How long do you get to fight it again? Five minutes. Yeah, give me the money. Give me the money. Give me your fucking money. Doom, doom. Pump, pump. Get that so I can grab this. Hey. 
We got the first one done. Almost got enough for all of it as well. Oh shit. How much else has 10? Okay. and then come over here, grab this. So it says 15, but does that mean 115? I just can't show it. Might be. Otherwise, I've just fucked myself. I love I'm just sitting here watching a YouTube video doing this just to get some XP on Fortnite on stream. It's like, I could have chosen a better time to have done this. Like, I could have done this off stream and kept it entertaining. But no, my brain's like, no, it's there. We have to do it now. I'm like, okay. I get through the money part of this one so quick now because of all the bonus and everything. And my, uh, my Akarem money is lower. So much fun. So to anyone who's watching this on demand, normally if I have people in my chat, I'll just be chatting with you guys. 
Like, I'll just chat with you guys while I do this kind of stuff. Kind of hard to do that when you're on your own. Because you're just sort of sitting here and just like, hmm. Kind of an entire conversation with myself. But I don't know what to talk about. What's the problem? I'm like, yeah. Camera out here as well. Yeah. One outside, one upstairs, one downstairs. Yeah, that's definitely going 150. <laughs> I don't know if I actually get more by shooting it, probably not. Um, get you, get street one, get graffiti. Ooh, do we get a level up? to go in here. That's kept him out all night and I thought I lost. Got those two and the thunder Oh, there we go. That's all three daily ones done. I'll, if I wait until like do like one entire lap of this. We're going to be here for like at least another 15 minutes. That's okay then. Because then I'll be going on break and then when I come back we'll start a new playthrough. It's a shame, right? Because I really wanted to... I, I genuinely really wanted to enjoy um, Observation. Like I really wanted to enjoy it. I'm frustrated at myself that I didn't enjoy it, but... You shouldn't, you shouldn't be angry at yourself or annoyed at yourself if you didn't, you know, if you didn't enjoy a game. That's how it goes sometimes. I wonder if this is a I don't know that she knows. Hopefully we'll get a lot of uh, money while we're out here just idling up. I wonder if I have two of these going. If I actually get even more money a second. I've never actually tried that. Come on. There we go. But I also don't know if it would like reset me, so I'll wait until I'll give that a try after I've finished this um this building. We'll like go over and claim another one and see if you can have two at once when you're playing on your own. Because if you can. It's a lot more money, a lot quicker. And probably a lot of XP very quickly as well. But that's what leads me to believe it probably isn't possible. Up here is quite expensive. 
Sam. Need 75 for that. Alright, there we go. Up here it gets quite pricey. But with our bonus and everything, it shouldn't take too long. Because every time you, like, reset and then your bonus goes up and then you obviously get, like, this little dude. After you've done two rebirths, like, your money goes up pretty quickly in this. So it doesn't take too, too long. Oh. Get that one. Get that. Get the rebirth. Oh, God. Bitch. Just dancing along to the music. I never normally do the guards first. Let's get these done first, because we'll get uh, get a little bit more money. I'll do that, yeah. yeah there's the other camera. Can't get that one yet, either. My god. See how deep the bullet lies. Da, da, da. I'm aware, I'm telling you a sundown. Right, we've got to wait 45 seconds at least. Who's just chilling on the sofa? All these John Wicks. Okay, we can get this guy too. E. Ah, no, stop up. Tell me again. Nah, we need quite a lot for upstairs, so if I do another 45 seconds of just bonus from the money block will be fine. That should get us pretty close if not there to unlocking everything on the roof. Then we can go downstairs. And then that's the last room then. See if we can have like two of the buildings. Come on, there we go. Need money. I've done this so many times. I just know the fucking routine. God damn it. Don't know it as well as I thought I did. There we go. But I set fire to the world. Bop, bop, ba, da, da. Right. 
Set fire to the line. Hell yeah. Now I get a lot of money. There is one over here that I need 250 climbing for every token, so. That's gonna take a little while because the money's so far ahead. last cameras were there, but I can't remember when it turns up. Ah, that one. Got you. Okay. See, only 200 and 250. Normally, by this point, I can at least get that one. So, just showing how much uh, that boost for the money actually helps. wonder if there's a... Is there a boost for the... Yeah, there is... Oh, this does do a 10% crime boost as well. So I am actually getting a boost on the crime stuff. And it's still, like, much slower. I mean, I guess that makes sense. The entire point is that, you know, these parts are meant to be, like, bonus stuff. What we'll do is we'll just keep getting money until we get 250 climb. And then instead of waiting to... Because you have to get to 500 climb before you can, like, leave it. So we'll go over to one of the other buildings, claim it, and see if it, like... If you can have two buildings at once. Because if you can, that's going to help me a lot when I play this on my own in my own time. It's going to be a shit ton for you. I like that. Lots of XP. I've almost been playing for half an hour as well, which is good. Because that'll be um, that'll be a little bit of extra XP as well. Still upsets me the world is every now and again. I forget I'm okay. I think I do what this means. Actually, we could do the time splitters games. I have played them on stream before, but they just came out on PS5. It's part of premium, so we could do that. That could be fun. I love those games. Although the first one's a bit weird. First one's a bit weird. Second one I like. Third one I I love. Third one was my childhood. So you need 3 million and 500. Madness. With the pain of losing you everywhere I go, but I'm doing it. Let's uh, let's take on this again as well. Getting up, getting dressed, living up this regret, but I know if I can do it over. So that does 200. How much does this do? Oh, this is much better. Boom. 
1.5 mil. Jesus. Right, I wonder what happens though if I claim this. Oh, I can't. I physically can't claim another one. Ah, I guess that makes sense. It doesn't want you, like, being too overpowered, I guess. Why is this here? What is this? I've never noticed this before. What? Oh, I guess while I'm like, well, while I'm waiting for. I guess while we're waiting for. Uh... Oh, you actually do get money for this as well. While I'm waiting for the crime to go up. Yeah, cause that, cri that crime is going to take forever. I get money. God damn it. Oh, no. There you go. We did get some XP as well. I don't want to just ignore the, um, like, the reset. That's the problem. But the other problem is that I don't want to just sit here doing nothing with you guys. I wonder if there's a a money a money boost. Ooh. Is there one that I could get crime in? I can't remember if these actually give you like uh Sound of lightning I pull my luck at a one but you can hide. I could be honest, I could be human, I could become a silver bullet in your hair. No one can beat my heart like I can. Werewolf. Because if we get crime for doing these as well, that's a way to kind of speed it up a bit. Police hit the dance floor through this heartbreak beat. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Speaking of things I meant that remember come the monster or the monster be do we get everything when I fall my luck to the one but you can hide I could be honest I could be human I could become no silver bullet Nothing can break my heart like I can I said this changing No, you can't break my heart like I can. You can't break my heart like I can. No, then that's forever. Oh. Oh, I forgot to pick up all the diamonds in the last one. I think we did actually get a little bit of a boost to our crime there. On the last one. Definitely looks like it. Maybe it's just because I'm actually doing something so it just feels like it's going quicker maybe. I don't know.
sein. Hey. Yeah, you do get crying for doing this. Right, that makes more sense. So, from now on, <laughs> I'll do them when I come to the end of that shit. Because all I've been doing, basically, when I get to that point, is literally just standing here doing fuck all. Rebirth. So now we should have... Yeah, I've done nine, nine rebirths. Cool. Right. Okay, so... On that note, let us let us have a quick look. Oh, fifty bells. See, this is that's why I do that, right? Like you get a lot of XP very quickly, and I'm already, you know, over half. Well, about halfway, or over halfway actually, for the next page. Just from you know doing that, like taking the time to do it, it doesn't take that long. So it is, uh, it is kind of worth it. So we could do some Zenless today. I know I, I've done my dailies for today, but there we are. Ah, you're back. I am, mother. Yes, I was fatiguing very badly yesterday and the day before that. We played for about 40 minutes and then I just, I completely, like, fatigued. It was awful. Oh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I wasn't meant to buy that. But you know what? Okay, sure. <laughs> I bought, I bought a game by accident. I wasn't meant to do that. Fucking bellend. Right, okay. Um, so we could do a bit of Zenless. We have got, like... Because I'm on premium now with PlayStation. Sorry to hear that. Well, I think it's I think it's a mixture of, of COVID. And um, you've got, obviously... Uh, so you've got a mixture of COVID and... Um, like, from... COVID, obviously, from when I have it. And then you've got, what you call it, um, you know, I got fibro, fibromyalgia, so I fatigue with that as well, annoyingly. Uh, I was six man. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Look after yourself. Okay, so we've got Deliver Us the Moon. I wouldn't mind doing that on stream because I remember playing, we played a little bit of this during, no, I didn't play this during when I was trying to get um, 30 Platinums because... Yeah, I know that I wanted to get everything in the game because I wanted the entire story. So, I mean, we could do Deliver Us the Moon. That's meant to be really good. I also have Deliver Us Mars on here as well, I think. Life is Strange 2. We enjoyed the other Life is Strange. I woke up with a headache and then to Oh, God. Look after yourself. Take it easy. We have got the original Lego trilogy. That could be fun. Alone in the Dark. Acceptance. Now, this is a game I do actually want to play on stream while we're doing Charity Month for Alzheimer's Research UK. Because my guest experienced the five stages of grief in this horror game. So it's like a short horror game. But I, I believe it has something to do with Alzheimer's dementia. So I thought that could be a really har well, I know it's going to be harrowing, but it could be a very interesting sort of game to play. Especially on the education side of things. So we've got that. Hellboy. A big playthrough we could do is Marvel's Midnight Suns. I do want to play that. That could be a lot of fun. Metro Exodus, I know I want to play, um, but I don't know if I'm going to do that on my own time. Time Splitters games, they've all come out on PS5. Look at this shit. Mum, look, Time Splitters. They all came out. I'm so happy. Um, I'm fine now. I don't know what was that was all about this morning. Could be dehydration, overworked. Yeah, it could be a numerous different things. Also, just to let you know again, just to remind you guys, uh, in about eight minutes, I am going to head off. Um, me and the fiancé are going to go shopping. I don't want her doing it on her own because she's pregnant. Um, so I want to make sure she's okay and, and help her and look after her. So, yeah, we'll probably we'll end up playing something like that. I might go on Zen this quickly as well and sort of just do a little bit just to get some stuff sorted on that. But then, you know, there we are. Uh, yeah, that's what Donna said. Yeah, exactly. It could just be a bit of overwork. Could be over the like you're pushing yourself a little bit too hard. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself. You know, like I understand that there's this sort of this want and sort of I don't know if it's a need, but there's definitely a want there to like try and you know make yourself do as much as you can. Like I, I above all fucking people know that shit. But you need to you need to look after yourself as well. Work has been stressful. Yeah, exactly. Like, you need to take time for yourself. Like, I, you know, I know this is charity month. I'm meant to stream every day. 
but yesterday I was so fatigued I could barely I was awake for about half an hour and then I'd fall asleep for, for an hour or two so I wanted to make sure that today no, well, yesterday I looked after myself you know, drank plenty, ate plenty was healthy and that way today when I came on stream you know, I'd be a little bit more awake, a little bit more alert, a little bit more with it um, so I wasn't like uh, not yesterday but the day before Monday when uh, when I was like just too fatigued and too tired to do anything it was uh, it was a nightmare so but yeah I don't know how how long I'm gonna be on break it depends how long it takes us to do the shopping I'm not gonna obviously rush my pregnant fiance so it takes as long as it takes I could be away for an hour I could be away for half an hour I could be away for 10 minutes for all I know like we could be that quick we're only going to the shop down the road so you know it'll be really really quick hopefully but if not then it isn't and I will see you guys when I get back I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be about half an hour, give or take. But we'll see. We shall see. Oh. Right, you know what? While this, while that is... While, while we are here, uh, I think I'm going to head off now then. I can go get dressed then and get ready to also head off. Because I'm in pyjamas. Uh, so I can get dressed... Uh, head off, do your shopping, come back, and then we shall carry on. Uh, I will put uh, in brackets away from stream, close brackets uh, in the title, just so people are aware. But yeah, when I come back, uh, we will maybe do acceptance. We'll do the short horror, little mini horror acceptance game, and then we'll jump on to something else then. But yeah, I shall be right back, peeps. I'll be as quick as I can. But uh, yeah. See you guys in a bit.
Alright. So, what's well, not as long as I thought? I even had something to eat. But I saw there's <coughs> some comedy gold that I would love to share with you all. Problem is, it's on TikTok. Oh. But it's so funny. Oh, Jesus. Right. We're going to play acceptance. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry if I'm like still half laughing. Oh, it was so funny. It was so good. Uh, all right, let's jump into this. I'm quite ex uh, quite excited to uh, to play this game. I uh, have seen good things, uh, but on a positive note, my second review was good. Man, said she was taking her accent. She knows what I've been through. Oh, that's fair. That's nice, at least. Hold on, an understanding manager. That's unusual. You sure you she was your manager? <clears throat> God. Okay. Mm, here we go. Acceptance. We're gonna go volume three. I wanna hear everything in this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I had like a coughing fit from laughing so much watching the stuff I was watching. Oh. Acceptance. A difficult concept that we humans have to have. At least you're brushing your teeth. That's good. And you're having a shower. It's even better. Are you ready to face a new day, Adam? Adam, are you ready? Are you ready, my brother? No, you're not, fucker. Jesus. Be fucking harsh. <coughs> Excuse me. But you don't have a choice. You have to go to the office. Oh. Poor guy. You're back! I am. Mum, next time be careful how you're typing. Like, I understand what you just typed is not what you meant. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Look what you typed. Thank God I knew what you meant. Oh. Emily, baby. Hey. Hello, my dear. Sorry I'm late, as always. Too bad. Come back soon. I miss you. Oh. Sure. I'll try not to be too long. Love you. Oh. Ah, oh, Smooch. Hey, little Smooch. That's cute. Oh. <clears throat> ah, yeah. Yeah. A little rough one. Well, at least there was nothing out of the ordinary this morning. No sad faces, no hysterics, no strange words. I hate to admit it, but sometimes I'm sick of these mood swings. And the fucking, that fucking job. I'd like to bury myself in the ground and stay there for the rest of my life. God damn. <clears throat> Calm yourself. Sir seems to be very stressed. Oh. Make sure to move around. Yeti marketing. <clears throat> Get down! Get down! Oh, sleepy. Okay. We're going to Yeti Marketing. I guess this is where we put it. Got my reading glasses on now. Dear God. Good morning. Morning. 
Hello, co-worker. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Adam, can you come into my office? I need to talk to you. Why? What has Adam done? This project we've been working on for two months now, eh? It must be finished tomorrow morning. You remember that, Adam. You didn't forget, eh? Tomorrow morning? Uh, yeah, of course I remember. Great. Then go and work, and do not fail me. Why does he keep saying, eh? <coughs> Twelve minutes past ten. Okay. You remember that, Adam. Asshole. Okay, I can handle it as long as I don't get distracted by anything. Immediately gets distracted by something. That's always what happens to me. <clears throat> 6.45, Jesus. Adam, everybody's gone home. Finishing up? I'm nearly done. I mean, I need a little more time here. But I'll definitely finish the project by morning. Eh? Don't worry. I don't worry, eh? Goodbye, Adam. <clears throat> what is it with the eh? It's so annoying. 6.56. Baby, I got stuck at work. Yes, I'm very sorry about that. I'll try to come in two or three hours. 9.37, Jesus. Just downloaded the Discord app. Oh, nice. Ah! 11 voice. <coughs> Fucking hell. Now that's dedication. That's also very fucking hot. I'm good. I need to, <coughs> need to wipe. Wipe the countertop. Maybe news will take my mind off some stuff. Oh, never go to the fucking news, Jesus. Wickalism. Chat. I got a trophy from workaholism. It's like it me in real life. Sociability. Try to chat with someone. Bro, you don't want to look at the news. Protests in Peterburg. You're not allowed in the shop. Yeah, we were only half an hour. Well, actually, we were about 25 minutes. Um, from time I came off stream to by the time we got back. Um, but, yeah. It went well. It's very quick, very efficient. I liked it. Oh, there is a platinum. <clears throat> <clears throat> My goodness. Protests in Petersburg. Protests took place in Petersburg. Held protest action last week. The participants in demonstration against violence from the sea currents force. There is no praise data on the number of participants at the moment. More than 1.3 thousand people have been detained look closely at the people right next to you i'm alone <clears throat> knowing the warning suicide jesus science could be your first step in helping a loved one follow this link and get a free consultation from our specialist <clears throat> not interested why you seem like you are adam smashdown fest takes place this saturday grim bones and roses crazy ultra goodness Psychedelic pheromone and our local star Savage Mercy will run the Rock the Smashdown Fest this Saturday. That's not very nice. <clears throat> Emily Brown, a vocalist on the local pub band, Savage Mercy. What the fuck? That's so loud. Stop. Was found dead at the house. The body was covered in the ass. Oh, we're falling asleep. Falling asleep. Not doing work. Falling asleep. <clears throat> what the fuck, Richard? Nice coffee. Nice. Oh, I was meant to use coffee, mate. Balls. <clears throat> what the fuck? <clears throat> so this, this game is apparently meant to be sort of the five stages of grief. Um, hence the name Acceptance. From nightmare to nightmare. Was that a dream? Yes, that's right. Just just a bad dream. What's wrong with the computer? Why is this damn thing off? What's this stuff in the air? It's getting weird here. Apparently I'm terribly overworked. I think I should go home and fuck this project. You don't say! My guy, you've been there literally all night. Going home seems like the sensible thing to do. For some reason the computer's turned off and doesn't turn on. There's no sense in work here. Definitely overextended myself and I'm hallucinating. Damn, weird time. Okay. It's locked. <clears throat> Keep trying. It'll open. 
it won't open. Spooky. <clears throat> Very spooky. Spooky scary skeleton. Shivers down your spine. Dun dun. Hi. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see anybody out here. Yeah, I'm just working late. I even fell asleep on my desk when I decided to take a break and read the news. Only the news was strange. It's like it wasn't real. And there was a disgusting dream. Listen. Walter. Yes, Walter, excuse me. Don't you notice anything strange around here? Like what? To tell the truth, I don't know how to say it. Things have certainly changed around here. No, no, looks the same. You just, maybe, uh, you just must be tired. Nothing bad happened here, absolutely nothing. Yeah, convincing. <laughs> you should go home to Emily and rest. She's probably waiting for you. Yes, Walter, you're right. Wait, how do you know her name? Go home, Adam. Emily is waiting for you. Do you remember? Here, take the key. <clears throat> oh. Janitor's key, an ordinary key received from a strange janitor. Probably opened some kind of emergency exit in the western part of the office. <coughs> oh, was that the lock door we saw? Yes, sir. Alright. We shall leave. Sounds he used. <clears throat> denial. Oh, so we're in the denial stage now. Okay. Emily. Emily is often depressed, but that's completely normal for people like her. For sensitive people who notice all negative aspects of life. I should return to her as soon as possible. Oh. I'm guessing Emily is not of the land of the living anymore, and he's grieving it slowly. I should get out of the office, get in the car, grab some wine along the way, spend the rest of the day with her. I hope it was just a nightmare. Can't open. It seems to be jammed. I don't think it was. Walk, walking simulator. Walk 100 steps. Uh, hey! Open your eyes. What does it mean? I don't remember such posters in our office. Why are you in your office? You said you were going home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Accept the truth. Truth. What truth? Uh, that's denial for you. Don't deny. Easier said than done, to be fair. What the hell is that? <clears throat> ah! Oh. Okay. Grief is like um, is like a horror movie. It's. Very, very difficult to, to go through and to come out the other side. Hello again. I want you to know, if you see anything strange here, right behind my back or somewhere else, just don't mind it, Adam. You're just tired, that's all. Ah! Okay. Is I Did his eye colour change? Oh! Emily? Emily, baby. What are you doing here? Is is that really you? Too right. Jesus. Emily. Damn, maybe I offended her somehow. Hell. Oh. Emily. Oh. Ah, my toe. Why? Oh, I don't like it. It's spooky. Baby, are you all right? Mm. It's so sad, man. Denial's such a 
It's the hardest part of it to go through. Oh, God. So I'm guessing Emily was his, like, girlfriend. And she took her life. I'm sad. So this game's not about dementia, like I thought. You're a bad man. Or wife. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm guessing we'll learn as we go along. God, it just goes deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, I fall for you. Over and over, over and over, I will try it all. That was a long corridor. Oh. That <laughs> Call of Duty is installed. The wire is blocking the way. I need a tool to pass through. Okay. Over and over, over and over, I fall for you. Oh! Emily? Oh! The darkness, Jackie. No! Why are you naked? I mean, fair question. Oh. You want me to follow you? Oh, yes, baby. Oh. No, it's not like that, Adam. Oh, Jesus. Is that... Is that blood? Oh, no. Adam, no. Oh, Jesus. Did something happen to you? I don't like this. Oh, God, I'm coming. Bulkheads. Hey, armed and dangerous. Thing looks like a serious weapon. If this be a video game, I could attack and block. Wait. Oh my god, we actually do have to fight. Oh, I gotta do it three times, so it's like, hey, you actually understood it. Oh! Game saved. I don't like that! Mm -mm. Fucking hell. Let's get the shower, me! Oh. Hi! Hey, uh, are you alright, bud? Oh dear. Fuck. No! 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 Face your demons. Kill your first enemy. Jesus! Jesus! Jesus, man! I like the little drawn art style on it. It's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of, like, uh, old internet flash games that I used to play as a kid. Even, like, how the, the like, screen shakes a bit when you're, like, attacking. Very, very, like, flash games. Oh. Can I just keep attacking him or do I have to like turn around and run away? We'll keep pressing forward. Oh, two of them. 
No. 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 Keep going, Adam. You got this. Keep fighting, Adam. That's what you gotta keep doing. You gotta, you gotta keep fighting. Keep fighting to come out the other side stronger, stronger than ever before. That's what you gotta do. These creatures. Was it me? Some twisted alter ego of mine with freaky smiles on the face? What were they so happy about? There's some strange shit going on here and they're smiling. Maybe everything happened here is okay for them. Or do they just deny all this horror? Anyway, good thing I have the bolt cutters with me. That is denial. You live in denial long enough, you know. You'll live around, you'll just think that the horrors and everything going on are completely natural. Hi! Ah! No! We got hit. Adam got hit. No. 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 Why do these ones go down easier? Ooh. No. No. You don't get to hit me. There's like loads of different versions of him. So I guess there's all the different versions of him, like, at whatever stage of acceptance. And grief he's, uh, he's kind of at. Oh! Ed Nitch! No! No! Get away! I like how his eyes squint when he attacks as well. It's a nice attention to detail, that. Oh, another one. Dunk. Whoa! Ooh. Ooh, uh, you are a little bit tougher, sir. You had a little bit more fight in you. Oh, God. Oh, I can hit two at once. Okay. No. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. weird. Was that like him attacking himself? Oh, give me. Oh. I'm so sorry. Nope. 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 So now we're actually behind like the gate and everything. We're behind like a bunch of wire. Oh no. Okay. I thought that was going to be like some metaphor or something then, but apparently not. Dunk. No. 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 That's a new version. No. Oh god, the eyes twitch when you hit them when they're on the ground. That's that's freaky. No. No. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Ooh. Hello. Oh. I'm sorry, I had itch. No. You don't get to hit me. No. I had itch. I had itch I had to scratch. You can't just hit me then. Go, Adam. Get out. Huh. Adam. Look at you with that cool bolt cutter, man. Like the hero of some indie thriller. 
I'll ask you an indiscreet, an indiscreet question, if you don't mind. And do you mind? You do mind anyway. I don't give a shit. Do you enjoy killing these creatures? Do you like to feel the cold metal entering their flesh? When did that open wound spew that bright, sexy red blood? Did you see that crying guy pierced with needles of suffering? Have you ever wondered what wrong he did to you? What did he do to deserve your aggression? He feels fucking bad enough without you making it worse. And what about the smiling ones? Yeah, I know, it isn't very pleasant to see someone smile when your life's in a free fall, but admit this. You never felt so confident before. As if you can solve any problem in your life, it was in form of such monsters like the guys you just mercilessly killed. Go fuck yourself, my friend. The only monster in your life is yourself. Live with it. Accept yourself. Accept everything that happens. See you later, motherfucker. <laughs> Just carries on walking like... I'm going mental. It's gonna be fucking mental! So what, is that, are these guys like a metaphor for like people who see you when you're suffering and kind of smile or whatever and you get jealous of it so you get angry and then you want to hit them? Is that kind of the metaphor they're going with here? I guess so. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Still fatiguing. Despite the fact that I've had food, I need to drink. Walking, walking, walking. It's kind of freaky. Like, just the fact, like, the backgrounds make it feel really, really uncomfortable. I don't know why. It's just, like, the colour palette, I guess, is what makes you uncomfortable. Especially with his eyes. Like, he looks like the monster, but we know he isn't. You know, he's just sad. Have you tested negative yet? Yes. I tested negative yesterday. We bought some more tests. And uh, and uh, Smoosh is still uh, testing negative as well, so COVID free, which is good because obviously you're dropping stuff around tomorrow, right? All the guys in the van are. Where's your head at? Doom, doom. Where's your head at? Doom, 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 Pointless. Your struggle, your efforts, doesn't make any sense. It would be easier just to give up. You will definitely break down. Not now, but a bit later. In an hour, tomorrow, in a week, half a year. What's the difference? You'll break. Sure as shit. I know you well enough. You miserable jerk. Okay. You're basically fighting yourself. And running from the truth right now, aren't you? So let me help you in the name of our long-standing friendship. Run and fight, moron. Run and fight. Uh, wow, that's great. Yes, 9.30 at my house. Okay, so I'll be up. I'll get up for 9 o'clock tomorrow then. Just to make sure that I'm actually awake for when um, the guys get here then. Ow! I pressed the wrong button. Run!
Keep running at him. Keep fighting at him. That's the point. Gotta keep fighting. No! Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Running at him, you got this. Come on, buddy. Dunk. That's it, keep fighting. Run, run, you won't succeed anyway. Keep running at him, you can do this. I believe. Fighting at him, you got it. Stop resisting, and your life will instantly become easier. No, we keep fighting. Don't you dare stop fighting at him. Oh, excuse me. <gasps> Back in fatigue. Running at him. Hey, who still loves cuties? You can't escape the reality, idiot. Where'd you get a test from? So we went to Boots. I think, did we get him in Boots? No, Superdrug. We got him in Superdrug. Oh, God. Come on, Adam, you got this. God damn, down to five health. Better keep fighting. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Fuck him up. How much do you pay? Uh, Lauren bought them, so I'm not too sure. I know they were. I think they were. I think they were cheaper than boots, and you do get six tests instead of five. So I mean, take that for what you will. <sighs> well, excuse me. No. No. I paid nine pound for five. I'm not too sure how much they cost. I'll have to have a look. See if we still got the receipt. Oh, so that heals us. Okay. I didn't notice that last time, and I did it. I'm an idiot. Don't break my heart. Everything that happens. Is this real? This beautiful feeling when mental metal collides with their flesh. It's completely real. And very pleasant. Apparently I haven't blocked an enemy's attack. Both cutters used. If I'm not gonna get the platinum just because I didn't block. <laughs> Enemy? 
Ah, we should have an enemy guy here. I should be able to fight. Hopefully, anyway. Like a boss fight or something. At least then I can block an attack. Ah, well, I'll go to the super drug next time. Yeah, fair. Did I defeat him? Ooh, we did. I almost died. <laughs> oh! Elevator. Where am I? Where's my bolt cutter? Fuck. Yeah, where's my bolt cutter? I worked hard for that. Perhaps we have done all the fighting we need to. Let's think this through, dude. So you came to the office, done some work on that damn project, opened the news in a semi-conscious state. One of the articles was about Emily's death, about my Emily's suicide. But you, she can't be dead. I just saw her right here in the office. I don't believe she could do this to herself. None of that's true. It's not true. I have to text her. Oh dear. Last seen today at six, five past six. Baby, hey, are you there? I'll be home soon. You must be very busy if you don't answer. I love you. Should I bring some wine? I'll stop at the shop on my way home. Wait for me. Were they the last messages he sent her before he found out she had passed away? The elevator doesn't work anymore. Ah, goddammit. Why? Why? the eye of the mountain below keep careful watch of my brother's soul no oh. I think I'm going crazy baby I don't know what's going on but I'm so happy you're here with me I'm always here with you you know I'm a part of you we are inseparable but no matter how hard you resist you should open your eyes. I'm... I'm failing to understand, Emily. I refuse to understand it. Go on, and you will see everything on your own. You will see the truth in a black bag. A black bag? Oh. Hi. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. All right then. How did I get here? What is this? Yeah, what is that? That's what I said. 
a lot of eyes. That's disgusting. Well, I think it's just eyes, buddy. Oh! Oh. Idiot. You're such an idiot. You couldn't keep me safe. You just didn't want to do it. You had no time. You ignored all the signs. Even now you don't realize that I'm dead. Now look. What have you done? See how I suffer? And run away, Adam. Run away from me. Run away from the truth and responsibility. Run away like you always did. But no, you won't succeed. You'll have to accept the truth. Let's start with denial. <laughs> oh! Platinum exceptions. Ooh. His phone's going. Incoming call, Mum. Really? Adam, I just found out about Emily. I'm so sorry. She was so, so deep and unusual. Such a wonderful girl. Are you okay? How are you holding up? Adam? Adam? I guess Adam's not holding up well. Oh, fuck you. What the fuck is going on? Why is this happening to me? I just want to go back home to Emily. But she's dead. Fuck. Oh. I already understand that. Oh! What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You can't walk away. Damn, from this. Am I going mad? You're grieving, sir. You couldn't save her. I couldn't always be focused on her well-being. Holy fucking shit. Go to hell, all of you. My God. That is not what you want to see. But yeah. Grief, man. It's a rough one. This asshole is sleeping. Fuck it, then. Chances, Mop. I wish I could smash it over somebody's head. No. Curious how no one says. Yeah, sometimes that was hard, but there's no reason to yourself. So what do I do? What do I 
do now without her? What I did to deserve this. How am I supposed to live now? Jesus. So, Angie. Nah. So, Angie. 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 Adam, you're very angry man. You need to you need to breathe, sir. Thank you, ma'am, for the Tom Cardi you receive it. We love it. Appreciate that. Keep forgetting to take them off. After this game, we'll have to take the Tom Cardi sound alerts off, unfortunately. Because they get me in trouble with copyright. <sighs> Jesus Christ, how long does this go on for? Ah. Also, why are we beating up innocents? Is he that angry with the world that he's like, I have to beat up innocent people. I cannot allow this. Excuse me. Ah, sorry. No, it's fine. That's why they're there. They're there for you guys to use. I just didn't realize that. I think it's because Tom Caddy has now got a label, I think. So, obviously, all this stuff gets copyrighted. It never used to. Um, but now, his sound alerts tend to get slapped. I don't think that one gets slapped, but I know the other one does. Oh! Uh Ow, my nipples. No. You don't touch my nipples! Don't touch my nipples. My nipples. That's a shame. Well, that's copyright law for you. Bastards. It's fine, because I can just mute the audio, so it's not a problem. It just is what it is. <gasps> Judith. He's so angry. Such an angry man. To be fair, I can't imagine what the anger he must feel. That's got to be awful. Shall not pass. Hits floor. Champion. <laughs> Whoa! No. No. You're a
Excuse me. Uh, oh. The Yoni boy is back. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta be a little bit of a Yoni boy, you know? Let's go get a jacket, oh. <sighs> oh. Oh. Thank you very much, Mum, for the holy pufferfish. Praise be to the holy pufferfish. We love the holy pufferfish. Thank you very much, Mum. I appreciate that. We love a good pufferfish around here. Pufferfish of life. Of life! Of life! <laughs> Uh. Hot ha! Well, hot ha! God damn! Took a bit jam. Oh, ow! Uh, you getting cold? That makes a change. Uh, I know. <laughs> it's because the AC's on and it's it is a little bit chilly in here, so I think on my next break. Because I, I don't like turning the AC off because it keeps the because I've got a PS5 going, I've got um, PC going. It's good to keep it, you know, cool in here so nothing overheats or gets damaged. <sighs> Oh, excuse me. I apologize. Being a yawny bitch. Wow! Boom! 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 He is so angry. Look at that face. That's a face of a man who's ready to shove a broom up your ass. Or a mop. Because it is a mop he's using at the moment. Nah. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Seriously, still going with this? What if I go backwards? No, okay. Fucking hell. I will say, I do think. I know what they're trying to portray in the game. It's a little bit dragged out, though, for a game. Right, like, I understand the the message they're trying to put across. You're making it a little bit, a little bit dull. Ah, ah. No, 
No. 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 Can we take his weapon? But his weapon was cooler. We only have a mop. Maybe his is a mop too. It just doesn't look like a mop to us. Look at this distinguished gentleman. As he hits people with a mop. No, it's not the way to deal with your mental health, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go around hitting people with mops. Maybe I'm meant to go down. Oh, oh, oh. I apologize, excuse me. Fire. With fire and fury. My heart hurts. My heart hurts for you. Oh, another one of these guys. Hey. Only three more hits and we're down. I gotta be careful. Oh, finally, Jesus, that took that took way too long. Way too long. Oh, he's going near him. Who the fuck are you? And why the fuck are you staring at me? Is there something you want to tell me? Come on, say something. Tell me she's dead and it's my own fault. Why aren't you answering, freak? Why? Take this! And that! And bitch! Nah! Die! Die! Die. Die. Who the fuck? Die already. Emily is dead. I am crushed. You are still breathing. I would be better if anyone else died instead of Emily. I'm not the most sensitive man in the world. But I really fucking tried. Go and try to get someone out of the depression. Everything is easy, you piece of shit. She's fucking fine now. Everything's just turned off. It's like the plugs were pulled out of the socket. Jesus Christ. But what about me? How am I supposed to live now? Fuck. 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 Jesus Christ. I mean... That is a lot. Your game has been saved. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, back here. Oh, jeez, what was that? Oh. Ah! Ah, oh, the third stage. Is that is bargaining the third stage? I don't know.
But for the answer we don't like, you'll get a not very pleasant surprise. Think you can handle about three surprises? Then let the game begin. All these things happening today are really unfair to you, right? Of course, freak, there's some fair to me. Ah! Oh, really? I chose the wrong three three times in a row. Are you for real? Oh, no. They changed it. Maybe I deserve this after all. Oh, interesting. Tell me she's the victim. Oh. understand how to make things right and get Emily back. What the fuck are you talking about? If she's dead, how are you going to get her back? Oh, oh, excuse me. Acceptance and move forward. I have no more strength. There is nothing I can do about no, about it. Nothing. Uh, this is, okay. So this is my big problem with this game. You keep making me do the same thing over and over, and I understand the metaphor that you're trying to put across um, in regards to acceptance and grief. Right? I I get it. But f for a game, it's not a good thing to have. Because it gets really fucking boring really quickly. Stop. Like, games need to stop doing this. Just have a shorter game. Please stop. I can't do anything. I can't save her. Oh. At least he learned. Excuse me. It's 
it's over. She's gone. There's nothing I can do. I am powerless. I am helpless. I am useless. I ruined everything. I couldn't keep safe the. Uh, I couldn't keep safe the only person I cared about. Great grammar. The only person who cared about me. Now there is only one void around me. Nothing makes any sense anymore. I failed. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to live on. Oh, that's sad. No, we have to move him slowly across. I mean, that makes sense. You gotta keep going, buddy. Opening and yawning is getting a lot worse. Oh, the fatigue is so annoying. Fed up of fatiguing now. Excuse me. I don't want to go home. You have to. Stop being a twat. Go home. Accept what's gone on. There's nothing I want. Ah! I know it's hard, but it will get better. I'll just stay here. Can't avoid it forever. No. This game doesn't help. I hope I'll die right now. Grief is a, a monumentally tough thing to deal with. Yeah. But life does get better. It gets it gets easier every day that it goes by. So you just gotta keep fighting. You gotta keep fighting, keep going for Ow, ow, ow! Stop headbutting it. Wheel. I don't know why I was going to say tire. <laughs> why, why are you headbutting your tire? But it's my steering wheel. Ooh. I got it. I figured out what to do. Oh, God. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. If it is, this game goes down in my expectations. By a lot. Oh, he was just thinking it. No, this is not the way. Absolutely. I can't do that. Absolutely, sir. You have to keep fighting. You have to keep going. It's hard, it's difficult, but you can do it.
energy drinking. Hmm. Hey, dude. Buddy. Maybe he's deaf. Or dumb. <laughs> Hello. Wake up, moron. We're standing at nothing for over an hour and a half. Wake the fuck up. This is not helping. And it's, too, it's time for me to close the bar. Did you hear him, asshole? It's time for Lenny to close the place and go home to his old lady. Because of you fucking creepy has to be here. You're interfering with a respectable gentleman while playing the role of a decent husband. Well, yes, I wish we were home now. I'm fucking tired, temporal booze, and all sorts of freaks. No offense, fuck. You know I'm always glad to see your face. Don't fucking worry about me. You two fuck off. You can even call me the piece of shit concerning how much free booze you usually give me. Speaking of friendship, Frank, do me a favour, throw this asshole to hell. In the meantime, I'll close the bar. Oh? I was waiting for this offer, and I've been looking for a punching bag all day, and yeah, yeah, found it. Hmm, maybe this week has something valuable in his pockets. Yep, we're checking. Okay, you go then. Good luck with this shit, man. Okay, see you tomorrow, Lenny. Hey, motherfucker, it's time for you to get off. Oh, we're gonna kick your ass. Ah, headbutt. One punch to make you a murderer. Everything's just dragged out in this game, and I think that's my issue. Like, I thought this was like an hour-long experience. You go through all five. No. Oh! They're fighting long into the night. Hmm. You are full of surprises, huh? But you really have problems with your head. You're a fucking psycho, that's who you are. Something happened to you. Fucking say something. Alright, then may you may stay like that. I'm out of here. Bye, freak. And go see a doctor. Is it a mental ward or something? Maybe they'll give you some medicine for your brain. Okay. Fuck you and goodbye. Says the man that literally grabbed him, dragged him out of a bar and started a fight with him. Fucking prick. Alright. Enough ad uh, adventures for one day. It's time for me to go home. But how pleasant it was to hit that ugly <laughs> face. Jesus Christ. The painting given to Emily by some Russian guy. It's so weird that with so many friends from all over the world, she had no one to rely on. These are the books from Emily's home library. I've read some of them. There is something vicious, sticky, and enveloping in them. Heavy reading, which, oddly enough, Emily loved so much. Mm. Weird. The door to Emily's studio is locked. Maybe she didn't want some outsider to get in the after her death. wonder if we can get into her studio. That's where he'll sort of finally accept what's gone on. That's my favourite picture. It was taken from the website of Emily's band Savage Mercy. She looks so formidable. That's why it's very funny. And these stupid sparks. This is Emily and me too. Me too. Two or three years ago. Oh shit, I wish I could go back in time to buck up and turn my brain on to be better to Emily. Strange, this photo is lopsided on the wall. Is there something hidden behind it like the movies and video games? Yep, studio key. Because of course. 
My stupid sour face. I hate myself. Although, was I ever being different? Cheerful, active, positive, not boring. Maybe when I was 20, I suppose so. Now I turn to complete arsehole and I won't change. Yeah, there's no way I can go there. It's too painful. Can't avoid it forever, buddy. You gotta face it eventually. It is hard, but... But we got a studio key, so we can go look in the studio, I guess. That's a start. Yeah, you know, start looking in certain places makes it a bit easier, I guess. Emily writes down, wrote down all sorts of things on this board. Song titles, rhythm, short notes. It's usually empty now. Mm -hmm. I was a monster, forgive me, Emily, I loved you. Can't blame yourself. One week later. Hey, ceremony is tomorrow. For the family members only. No fans or sympathizers. See ya. You gotta go. Go say goodbye. It'll make life a little bit easier. Good sir, my fine fellow. zombies. It's very weird.
funeral enough for him to accept and sort of live life but never forget. Thank you for playing. You are very welcome. Although, I'm not going to lie, I like the game. I think some parts of it are dragged out too much. I think there are some parts of the story as well that are not very good. Um, as, as sort of like... Um, <sighs> The problem with the subject matter is that it is very, very much, um, you know, it is a very delicate subject. Obviously, grief is something we all go through. It's something we all suffer with. It's, it's something that we all have to get through and survive. I forgive you. Oh. But I do feel like there's some messaging in here that isn't very good. And I, I would say borderline dangerous. Um... So my, my my thing would be this, if, if I could ever speak to the developer, is that maybe next time, if you're going to make a game, be a little bit more careful how you word things. Um, oh, there's more. I'm alone again. In an empty apartment alone with my stupid thoughts. I want to run after Adam and stop him. I don't always understand my condition, but what I do know is that I don't want to be alone. But that's okay. That's okay. I can handle this. I need to take a shower. Hopefully it'll help to take my mind off things. What? Why are we now playing as Emily? Okay. I don't quite understand what I've done to deserve this painting. Maybe this guy just gave uh, just a psycho if he decided to give the fruit of his labor to a person like me. No. Maybe he wanted to give it to you. These are the books of my favorite writers. Kaimas Vian, Yankar, and Tolstoy Man. I always loved reading, even when I was a child. The first other book I ever read was Bram Stoker's Dracula. Good choice. Shower first, then whatever else I've heard is for, although I don't know if I was left. That is what it's like when you're suffering with depression and stuff. You're always tired and just no energy. What a gloomy view. But I like its vibe. Stupid, terrible photo. The photo itself is nice, but my face? How did I manage to become a member of such a good band like Savage Mercy? I don't get it. I only really think that all this famous success is a pure chance. My favorite photo from my years ago. This was a totally different time. My disorder was not this bad, and Adam wasn't so exhausted. And then slowly but surely, everything went downhill. Things got very complicated, except for those six months when I was taken antidepressants. It's a pity that I had to stop treatment because of terrible side effects. My beloved Adam. God, how I tortured him with my depression and mood swings. It's like he's fading because of me. Of course I don't blame him. Who could I blame except myself? Oh, Jesus. Oh. So that's the bathroom. Oh, I hate having so many thoughts in my head. And this awful feeling in my chest. It's like there's a forward substance filling the entire space and pressing from the inside. I should try to remember what I have to do today and focus on getting it done. Right. I wanted to call my mum. I hope I won't ruin her mood by calling and answering her routine questions. We haven't really talked in a while. I wanted to call her for a long time, but the more time passes, the more difficult it becomes. Uh, it's not very clear what can we talk about. Maybe I can just ask how she and Peter are doing, and she will steer the conversation in the right direction. I wonder how they will get along together. April doubts on him. They were luckily with their attitude towards mum's men, yes. It's much more complicated with me. Mara, it's me, 12-year-old silly girl. I'm sitting on the shoreline, not far from our house. It's a cool place, calm and joyful. But when Dad died, it was filled with long longing and lost uh, all its attractiveness. We used to come here when I was a kid. Mum, Dad, and me, happy and loving. I felt protected and surrounded by love. It was so beautiful. Of course, Dad's death greatly affected the way I see the world and myself. Um, it was like I sank to the bottom of a deep, dead lake and froze there motionless. Mum failed to get me out of this bottom. I was not surprising because she had to deal with so much stress. Her beloved man died and her daughter began acting strangely, was depressed or aggressive. My poor mother... No.
I'm confused. Why are we now playing as Emily? Are we like to see it from her point of view? What does that add? I understand that you may want to show the other side of the coin, but I thought the game was talking about grief. And I know she lost her dad. That's that's been explained, but you're now trying to just drag this out. Why? Games like this about subjects like this should not be dragged out. That is not a good look. I don't care who you are. Wow, Mum, you're dressed in black. How extraordinary. That's so funny, baby. It's my favorite colour. I just can't help myself. How is your walk? Have you seen your friends? I don't have any friends. I haven't gotten close to anyone else after Alice moved to another school. It's alright, baby. It's alright. Speaking of friends, I want to introduce you to someone. His name is Philip. Philip, dear, come here. Oh, new boyfriend. Hi, Emily. I'm very glad to meet you. Mum, who's this? Baby, Philip is my friend. I'm sure you can be friends with him. I don't need new friends. But Emily, this is very important to me. Please be a good girl. We don't know each other yet, but honey, give me a chance. Your mum and me were having an excellent relationship and I'd like to be good friends with you too. So we can arrange it. I think the mum's being really selfish there. Not thinking about her child. Poor mum. I often hear a cry at night. The cry of a lonely, desperate and lost person. I tried to support her to be a good daughter, but like any teenager, I was giving her many problems and reasons to worry. I made my mother unhappy. i got to be honest, I d I'm starting to not like the, the way that this has been portrayed. Um, I'm kind of questioning whether to actually finish this now. Um, because I don't want to play a game that is mishandling this entire subject matter. Um... I was hoping it wasn't going to be like this, but here we are. <clears throat> do, do you know what? I feel, I, I gotta be honest, right? I feel icky playing that now. Like, something about it just does not feel right. I'm sorry. I'm sure the creator had, uh, you know... Uh, uh, you know, a um, yeah you know, had good intentions making this game, but um, to be very honest, no, uh, you've done a very shoddy job of of covering the subject matter in a way that's respectful and uh, you know, you've just you've not done a very good job there. Um, there, there are lines like it's hard, right? When you're making, when you're making a game like that, it is very, very difficult um, to, you know, to portray the subject matter respectfully. It is, it is very, very difficult. Right? It's a hard subject matter to tackle, especially in a video game. But I just feel like it, 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 it was not handled very well at all. Um, it it was i i praise sort of developers um and and any sort of of uh, person who wants to make like whether it's a film or a tv show or anything like that i praise anybody that is willing to give it a go to willing to tackle these matters right because they are important they are they are something that should be talked about and they are something that they should be shown as to how dark they can be but i think there's a way to do it and the problem with that game the way that was handled in my opinion was done poorly um 
there were parts of the game that were just dragged out for too long, unnecessarily. So, um, some of the subject matter, like with the subject matter, like the boy, like the boyfriend, I'm assuming it's just the boyfriend, Adam, kept blaming himself. And it, it felt like in the end, he completely blamed himself and that's when he found acceptance. And that's not how that should be. And then obviously just playing as Emily then, like learning a little bit more about her story and, and maybe as to why she took her own life. It, I don't know. I just don't like it. It it, it felt like a, a a teenager who was like fourteen, fifteen had written uh, like written the the dialogue for it, and and it kind of showed. Um, that not very good, uh, unfortunately. Which again, a, a massive shame, right? Because with games like that, I think it is. I think it is important that we talk about those subject matters. We talk about them all the time on here, but yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it's it's not it's not good. So I actually found um, there's actually I could only find one review on this game. It's a three out of five by someone that reviewed it from Xbox. So I mean, we'll we'll take a quick gander at this because I think I think that'll be kind of interesting, right? Like to uh, to sort of read. Ignore this. It's a fucking ad. Fucking ads. Get you over here for now. So look, they gave it a three out of five. I think that's generous. I think it barely it it scraped a two maybe. Tackling the tougher subjects like mm -hmm, depression and grief is seldom an easy task. A few games have managed to explore such themes excellently with great sub subtly subtlety too. Dear Esther, a br by the way, a brilliant example of a game, right? Dear Esther. Is a phenomenally well-made and well-paced walking sim uh, that does delve into subject matters, but does it respectfully. Um, Brothers of Tales Two Sons, another brilliant game, and Amore, which I have but I have not played yet, come to mind. Now it's time for developer Rosamono to have a go with the release of a story-driven psychological thriller titled Acceptance. Prepare yourself for a tale about, mm -hmm, and in particular, being closely involved with someone who's seriously at risk of. Mm. Okay, interesting opening. By the way, this article was done by James Burks. It was made uh, last year, September 2nd, nearly a year ago. Um, I shall leave a link to it somewhere. Um, I'm sure of it. But yeah, does acceptance successfully convey such an important message to a well-designed experience? In my opinion, no. Meet Adam, the protagonist of Acceptance. Uh, he's an office worker going about his mundane life with very little enthusiasm towards work, emotionally drained by the constant mood swings of his wife. Oh, it is his wife. Everything is about to get much worse, however, as his wife Emily commits mm, while he's at work. Finding out through breaking news on the internet, Adam must try and process the harrowing instant. Deeply troubled by it, a haunting journey to the various stages of grief begins to play out in his mind. Again, right? An interesting concept for a game talking about grief and things. Um... I think it's definitely uh, it's definitely a brave task to take on something like this, but in my opinion, the way it was written, the way it was tackled, just no. It, it was not done with enough respect. It was not done with very good pacing at all. The pacing was fucking garbage, um, and you know, I, I just think clearly this person needed a bit more experience in regards to game making. Um, because they did a very piss poor job of, of this game, in my opinion. And that's just my opinion, right? If, if you're someone that's played this game and thought it was amazing and it helped you, great. I, more power to you. But to me, no. No, 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 no. It was, it was terrible. Uh, essentially, it tries to explain the struggles of not only the depressed individual who committed, mm, but the effect that it has on the people around them, both beforehand and in the aftermath. Although it may seem morbid, I like that because the nearest and dearest of those struggling in life often get short shaft, uh, short shrift in regards to their mental health and well-being. It's really interesting to witness the exploration and characterism of denial, anger, bargaining, and depression before eventually reaching the grieving stage of acceptance. Each stage does have its own little quirks and difference from one another, which is quite clear to see. Um, yeah, I, I definitely agree with... What, what, what was his name again? James. Oh, ironically, yeah, James. Hello, James. My name is James. Um, yeah, so I, I definitely agree with... The idea of seeing a game showing depression and showing anxiety and what what I actually, you know, what it does to people who commit um, 
and the effect that it does have on people around them and, and what the damage it can do to people, not just the person that obviously took their life or, or you know, the family and the friends, but like everybody. Friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, you know, kids, like all of it. I definitely think it's an interesting matter to have, and I think there is a, a way of making a game that can convey those messages in a sensible and mature manner uh, while being respectful to the subject matter and also, you know, allowing a little bit of, you know, um, necessary sort of sadness to seep in because the subject matter itself is sad, but there's a way to do it respectfully, and I just don't think this game developer did that. The message does feel quite heavy-handed overall, though, and uh, could do with being reined in a tad. A tad? I'm not being funny, but a little more than a tad. It was a little bit too much. Again, the subject matter is sad. Of course, there, it's going to be sad, and there's, it's not. it should never be made light of. Of course, there's no denial in that. However, you're making a game. You have to have something in there. Like, I thought at the end of it, he was once he got to acceptance, we'd get to see him living his life again, going back to work, being a little more positive in his day-to-day -day life. I couldn't even finish the fucking game because, you know, it's just fucking miserable. Unlike the aforementioned games that have similar themes, acceptance is pretty tactless in its approach. I agree. It's definitely tactless. If I, I don't know if I would describe it as tactless either. I'd say it was on the border of being disrespectful. Um, you know, how it was handled. And, and also dangerous. I think that's, uh, that's definitely, you know, dangerous is definitely a fucking, you know, I feel guilty playing that game on stream because I just don't feel like it's, uh, it was handled with, with any tact. Like the guy said, tactless. On top of that, uh, there appears to be a fair few transition, uh, translation mistakes that make some moments slightly confusing, which isn't ideal. That's more to do with the fact that they should have hired someone that could speak the English language well enough to translate uh, and help them sort of translate stuff. That's just something that I can overlook if the game is good. Like, it doesn't bother me. I can't, you can kind of laugh at it and, and in a good, positive way, in like a fun way. Not just like a shitting all over the person kind of way, but you can kind of laugh at it and sort of talk through it and sort of, you know, make jokes about it, but understand and appreciate what they were trying to say, you know? Respectfully. Again, not, not to degrade the person, but to be respectful. The side-scrolling gameplay itself leaves a lot to be desired, with it's regularly seeing you walking through 2D environments for longer than it seems necessary to do so. Something I also just recently pointed out. Like, it is. It's ridiculous. Like, there are, like, especially this part. So it's interesting that he has a screenshot of this part here, because obviously this was the part that we were going through. And it was like four or five pages, and it takes a while because he walks so fucking slow. And it's just not very, very well paced. A handful of moments during the wandering about uh, akin to parts of a typical point-and-click adventure, seeking out an item in order to progress. It's very, very simple, however, and so it's left to the combat sections to try and elevate the level of engagement. I would say that the combat in this game is what is so bad. Like, it's just... If the combat sections were smaller... And there was, in my opinion, more points to it, sort of walking around, looking at the environment, learning about stuff that had gone in, in, in Adam and Emily's life. I think that would have been better. Lower the combat, because the combat is very basic, very simple, and it shouldn't be going on for as long as it was. And have, like, the more learning about them as people, their lives, what they went through. Why was she feeling this way? Why was he feeling this way? You know, there's a way to do it that keeps it respectful, but also doesn't sort of just shit all over the, the player who's playing your game. Like, you're not shitting on them mentally and physically, because, you know, it's a hard subject. And, and again, gameplay should be, you know, respect like respected not fucking you know don't take advantage of people's time like i looked like a walkthroughs of this i'm i think when i saw because i was interested in trying to find reviews which i couldn't find this was the only one i could find um i i saw that obviously there was like full game walkthroughs of it and it's like an hour and 40 minutes why why that's ridiculous 
In certain chapters, uh, excuse me, in certain chapters, Adam will come into contact with different, rather bizarre incarnations of himself. These inhuman figures are ready to cause harm, hence you must take them down by launching attacks using weapons that include a bolt cutter and a mop. The enemy designs are fascinating, and each type possesses its own attack pattern for you to watch out for. I do think that's interesting, the fact that there were different, multiple different versions of Adam, and the fact that each one was slightly different in the sense of how they attacked, so you had to kind of notice how they attack like the the yellow ones kind of were more immediately they'd run up to you and hit so you knew that if you wanted you could either block or you could hit at the moment you saw them come on screen hit and you'll hit them because they'll hit the, they'll arrive there soon enough then you had these guys which took like two hits who were really slow and you didn't have to worry about them and multiple other versions as well i do think that was definitely an interesting take to have uh with adam's character um but do i think it was done well no, I don't. And I think the combat, again, the problem with the combat isn't the fact that it's very basic, very simple, right? I have played enough indie horror games and indie games and stuff like that at this point where the combat is garbage. But because they know, like, the, the, the creator understands that the combat is not what they're trying to co convey here. It's the message from the story or it's, it's the exploring or it's the horror, whatever aspect they want to enhance on they pull that combat section of it back a bit and just have little pockets of combat here and there just to emphasize certain points. Like, what he should have done is instead of having about 20 fucking minutes of just walking across, pressing the X button to hit stuff, just have, like, five minutes. Not even that. Two, three minutes of that little combat section, then move on to the next part. Like, you don't need a 20-minute bloody section of just constantly walking. It's ridiculous. Um... They are rather bizarre. I will agree with James on this one. They are rather bizarre incarnations of himself. However, I don't think that's a necessary... I don't think it was a bad thing. I think that's one of the positives I can say from it is the design idea... Like, the idea that Adam was seeing himself in so many different versions of himself because he was struggling to accept and understand what had happened to him. That's at least what I took from it. Um, but I also I also would say, you know, he says these inhuman figures are ready to cause harm, hence you must take them down by launching attacks and weapons. Cause harm, the the only the, something I hope that James mentions in this 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 article, the ready to cause harm bit hits me a little bit because they were all causing harm to Adam. Adam constantly blamed himself from start to finish and never evolved from that, despite knowing that it wasn't his... F like, we know it's not his fault, right, for Emily losing her life, but he is treating it like that, and the game never corrects him on it. Maybe it gets corrected in the end. Maybe there is something for him to be blamed for while playing as Emily. I don't know, but quite frankly, I don't want to fucking play the game anymore. Um... Also, I hope you guys don't mind the fact that I'm, I'm talking continuously as we go through and I'm dissecting these. I don't want to just sit here and read through it and then fuck off. Like, I just don't think that's fair. Uh, this person has put a time and effort into making this and the least I can do is sort of talk about their sections, sort of, you know, talk about the experience that I had with the game as well, linking it to them, agreeing, disagreeing, that sort of thing. Unfortunately, it's incredibly mon uh, monotonous. I'm guessing that means monotone, basically. Blocking and attacking for, the, uh, for sections that seem almost never-ending. The action isn't smooth either, with questionable hit detection of uh, adding to the problems. Now, that's interesting, because I didn't really have any hit detection problems. Um, it was more just boring. <laughs> like, <coughs> I just found it really, really dull, really boring, not entertaining at all. So it's interesting to hear that he... Uh, James was having issues with hit detection. I mean, I can see why you would be having issues with hit detection. Um, but interesting, because I never had that. So that's that's interesting to know. Uh, and if it isn't bad enough, there's a lengthy segment involving quick time events that's brutal. See, now, I, I understand the part he's talking about that, because that's where, Ad, like, the sort of boss Adam, I guess we should call him, is chasing and you have to press all those buttons. I didn't find that too, too bad, but it was very long. Again, it's one of those things, uh, again, we come back to the same problem. All of the combat sections in Acceptance were way too long. Way too fucking long. Too long, too much of it, and it was just not good. Uh, that is definitely something he should... The creator <coughs> should have... <coughs> excuse me. Should have cut down on. It was, it was way too much. <coughs> and uh, definitely something that... Yeah, I think... Yeah, he needs to... Like, if, if this guy ever makes any more games... For the love of God, if you have a combat 
combat mechanic in the game that's like that short and sweet it will work better in your favor and people will be more happy to play through the entire game uh, the input window is too short for the single button prompts and when the main boss periodically appears it's bloody difficult to handle the raft of prompts it shows on screen is it impossible no just pretty frustrating see <clears throat> <coughs> my god what fucking wrong hole i had food obviously before i came back on and now I'm getting, like, acid reflux with it. What the fuck? Um, <clears throat> I will say I disagree with um, Mr. Burks. I'm going to call you Burks because it's weird to say James. <clears throat> I'm going to disagree with Mr. Burks here. I just think that's part of getting good. Uh, I don't think that the prompts were too short. Uh, I managed to do it in the first try. I think a few of them were a little bit tricky, a little bit difficult, and you were had to be quite quick. But I wouldn't say that they was too, too short. Um... And all frustrating, you know, like it was it was fine. Uh, so I disagree with Mr. Burks on that one. Uh, visually, acceptance manages to conjure up a really dark and twisted atmosphere, uh, atmospheric world for proceedings. There's always something unsettling about the way it looks. And on occasion, it slightly reminds me of the upside down from the TV show Stranger Things. I think the sound effects help massively, too, presenting an eerie soundtrack that's in keeping with what's going on in the story. <coughs> Um, I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't really hate the visuals. If there's one thing I will say about Acceptance, it's that I genuinely enjoyed the visuals. I think the visuals were interesting. I think that, you know, he kept, I keep saying he, because I, I, I forget if it's a, ma a man that made the game. My apologies. Um, the creator of the game, I'll just say that just to be safe, I think did a very, very good job with the art and everything. I think that it looks really pretty. I think that it has that, definitely that dark sort sort of a pressing undertone and i think that's a really really good atmosphere to have especially with a game like this but i think everything else has been mishandled here like very badly um but uh yeah i'd, I'd say i liked it um definitely the soundtrack was definitely interesting i didn't notice it as much i think because i was getting a little bored with the gameplay of just pressing x and having to fucking keep walking forward um but from what i remembered of it, it which is not a lot i will admit but uh, you know i think it was okay i think it was okay i think the music was fine i think the atmosphere was good <clears throat> Okay, last part, um, and then we'll have a look at the summary, I guess. There's no doubting the importance of what acceptance is trying to get across, but it lacks tact. The concept is a clever one, with a well-constructed atmosphere surrounding it and a selection of intriguing characters to boot. I definitely agree with the first part there. There's no doubt in the importance of what acceptance is trying to get across, but it lacks tact. I definitely agree with that. I think that it is done very, very poorly, and I definitely think it's something that this creator... Uh, whoever they may be, definitely needs to maybe take a look in the mirror. Uh, and next time, probably send it out to a few friends that aren't just kissing your ass and saying it's great. Um, and, you know, have a few people critique it and say, hey, this doesn't work very well. This isn't very good. You need to shorten this bit. Because I think, like, it had potential, right? The, the, the idea, the story, the dark subject, it's okay to talk about stuff like that and make games and things on it. But there is a way to do it, and, and this creator did a very, very poor job of that. The concept is a clever one. I don't know if I agree with that, Mr. Briggs. Um, Briggs, I don't think it's a clever one. I think it's a very common subject matter that rarely gets talked about because it's a very difficult subject matter to touch. And it's very, very difficult to make a game that is entertaining, but also is able to give a very emotional story about such a dark subject, but keep it respectful and tactful and do it in a good way. With a well-constructed atmosphere, I will agree with that, surrounding it and a selection of intriguing characters to boot. I don't know if I'd say intriguing characters. Um, to be honest, the only reason I remember Adam and Emily is just because they were the only two characters you really saw in the entire game. And all we knew about them is Emily had passed away because she took her own life and Adam was being a miserable... Uh, uh, you know, Adam was... I was going to say being a miserable fuck. Of course he was being miserable. He just lost his wife. But... He was being miserable and obviously going through the stages of grief. But actually, a lot of the times, I thought Adam came across as really unlikable. And that's not how you want to portray your main character when your main character is suffering with grief. Like, there's a way to do it, you know? But focusing on the gameplay's aspect, and it's incredibly boring. I agree. I think the gameplay aspect of this game is trash. Uh, it's not helped that there are many t there are times when the pace is, sl is too slow. Too slow? It's monumentally slow. Too slow is an understatement. Way, way too much of an understatement. The, the, again, the fighting in this game, the fighting, if you took the fighting combat sections in this game and shortened them down by a fifth, 
So you just have a fifth of what there's in the game now for each section. Boy, oh boy, you get through this game a lot quicker. We would have got to the ending way fucking quicker. It was just dragged out for the sake of being dragged out, and I don't think that's a good way to make a game. Considering the entire experience can be completed within an hour and a half, it's worrying how much of a drag acceptance feels. That's the problem. It shouldn't be completed in an hour and a half. It should be 40 to 50 minutes. Short, sweet, to the point, quick, easy. There you go. Like, that's the, what these kinds of games should be. Not because you're trying to rush the subject matter, but because you don't want to drag the fucking subject matter on. Summary. The pros. Interest in taking a difficult subject matter. I don't agree with that. I'm sorry, Mr. Brooks. An atmospheric experience. I can agree with that. It's definitely atmospheric. Fascinating character and environmental designs. Nope. Don't agree. Well, half agree. I changed mine. Half agree. Fascinating characters? No. Environmental designs? Absolutely. I think the environmental designs and the atmosphere of the game are great. These, The other two, though? No. You are wrong. I'm sorry, Briggs. You are wrong. Or Burks. Wrong. Uh, cons. Storytelling lacks tact. Absolutely agree. Poorly paced? Absolutely. I don't think poorly is a good enough word. I think drastically awfully is paced is better. And the combat sections are garbage. Yes, you're not wrong. But yeah. I think that's I think that's a, a fair fair description. Absolutely. But yeah, definitely definitely disappointed. Um I, I I would have thought that would have been handled a lot better for the subject matter that you're obviously tackling. So <coughs> yeah. Definitely disappointed uh in that. And uh would have liked to have thought that it would have been a lot better than that but here we are it is what it is now i've got to decide what we're gonna play <laughs> so hmm hmm well there is a game called those who remain uh if i uh those Ooh, ooh. It actually comes up. Look at that. It's a survival game, apparently. Oh, God. I'm not good with survival games. We might not be playing this for very long. Um, Those Who Remain is an up-close psychological horror story set in the sleepy town of Dormant. Whispers of disappearances carry through the town. Edward, a man who had the perfect life, was lured into darkness, must now confront uncomfortable horrors reflected by the dark to survive the night of the Dormant. Ooh, ooh. Seems interesting. It's a bit of a longer game. It takes about five and a half hours to finish. We could do that. That's not a bad show. Although we are... I could save it for the... Uh, <clears throat> it lacked empathy. Yeah. I I would say... I would say it, 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 the game lacked empathy as well, Mum. I think you're absolutely right with that. Or we could do time splitters. That could be interesting. <laughs> like, there's time splitters one, two, and three. One is definitely not as good. So we could just start with time splitters two, I think. Do you know what? I really want to. Because re it's been a while since I've played these games, and I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. So you know what? We'll do we'll do time splitters two first. Oof. Yeah, they're going to blow up a little bit now, hopefully. I hope. PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 emulation. It's about fucking time. It only took you forever, Sony. Now you just got to get the PS3 emulation working on PS5. Which is hilarious that you still haven't got that to work. Like, what is wrong with you? How are you not doing this well? Oh, that music. Oh! Enter name. We are Lou. <laughs> it's so good. I miss this so much. Ah, yes, we get rewinds. Enhancements. Ooh, the enhancements are on. Nice. Okay. Oh. 
Dun, 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 dun. Oh, so... Time splitters! Yeah. Right. So I'm going to go on a quick 10 minute break. I'm going to get myself a cup of tea. I'm also going to get myself a jumper because it's very cold in here. And then we shall play some time splitters. So I shall be right back with you, ladies and gentlemen. And then we shall play some of this.
Alrighty. Whew. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Play some Tama Splitters. Gosh, it's been so long. Out of the darkness they came with a hateful will to destroy you. Future perfect, still the best. We fought long but and hard, too. but now we are lost, for they have taken their evil war into our past. Traveling through time, they have sown corruption, unraveling the fabric of our history. Needs to play all the time. Chances to strike back, seize the time crystals, and turn their twisted weapon against them. The fight for survival has begun. Alpha base, do you copy? Over. Roger, you are clear to go. Proceed as planned, and good luck. <laughs> Always reminds me of Vin Diesel. Smoosh. You go after them. Uh, I'll hold them off here. All right. Hey. Yes. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad they actually fucking brought these out. Oh, Siberia is first. I always play on easy because I'm a bitch. Right, Siberia. Oblusk Dam. A secret research facility in 1990. Ooh. Secret research facility under a Siberian dam has unearthed preserved organic specimens, which are over 10,000 years old. Following a number of mysterious accidents, the original scientific team has left the site, and a Russian military garrison has been assigned to the ex excavation project. Intelligence has revealed that the military's attempts to develop a biological weaponry from the finds have had dreadful results. They must not be allowed to continue the research. Although biohazard cleanup forces are on their way, there is an opportunity to investigate the base and destroy the samples and research records before they arrive. The base is currently under lockdown and the perimeter guards are jumpy and the automated security system has been engaged. Avoid the cameras if necessary. They can be switched off or destroyed. Cutting off the communications uplink should buy some time and explore the base more freely. Hell yeah! We're gonna have a good time. <coughs> oh god! Uh. Pardon me. We shouldn't be in the research center without security clearance. I'm telling you, I heard gunshots. They'll kill us if they find out. Come on, coward. <laughs> Trying to grab him. <laughs> Nikolai, the light. I wonder what that was. Control. Control. Come in. Ah. And Cortez no longer looks like Cortez.
hold it down to me now. Ah, oh, the music. Oh, this is like my. This is going to be so nostalgic to play through. <clears throat> Future Perfect's going to be the most nostalgic. I'll say that much. But this one is still nostalgia for me. I actually still have both the second and third game, so two and Future Perfect on PS2 and on the original Xbox. I have copies on both. I have the original consoles over there. But it's just so nice to be able to play this on like a modern console so easily now. I'm, I'm guessing because it's a, they just ported it over, it's still going to be janky, but I'm fine with that. Oh god, why? 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 Don't want introverted. Who the fuck has introverted luck? Why? Why is that even a thing? When I look, when I go up, I want to look up. Oh god, it's so good. Ooh. God, it takes so many bullets. I've forgotten how to, uh, how do I crouch? L1? I mean, I know I can remap all the controls, but like... Let's see if I can just remap controls here. Um, oh. Oh, I get it. Wait, I'm pretty sure. If I go to controls. So what's circle button? Yeah, circle's none. So. Actually, if I take a photo of this. Ah, uh, that's right, they change when they go through. Yes! Well, in the second game they do, yeah. In the third game, Cortez looks the same. No matter where. Like, no matter where he goes, he looks the same. Right, let's press button to assign. So circle is now L1, because that's crouch. Manual reload triangle is going to be square. X is activate, that's fine. L2, R1, L2. Yeah, that's fine. Lovely. This is so fucking weird playing this on a PS5. <coughs> it's cool, don't get me wrong, but it's so strange.
I'm gonna be playing this, yeah. It's been a long time since I played this game, though. Like, a long time. Ooh, time mines. It's been a very, very long time since I played this game, but... Uh, it still feels like yesterday when I was playing it. Oh, this is literally my childhood. Time Splitters 2 and Time Splitters Future Perfect. My childhood. You were just a ch I fucking... I'm aware. I know. Fucking terrifying. I will admit the aiming's a bit arse in this, but, I mean, you know, older game. It's gonna be a little bit poop. It does have auto aim, but you have to be close enough. Oh god, the music! So nostalgic. I wonder. Soon you have a kid of your own. I know. Here I am, playing a game that I played as a child. I'm definitely going to play these games with my kids. Always. Like, you got to play Time Splitters. But what's that, Dad? You will learn, child. You will learn. Steam pressure at 66%. And now that should alert some of the guards up there. I'm gutted that these games don't have trophies. I don't know why. Sony just didn't give them trophies. I think that's poo. Do you know what makes me laugh? It's the fact that I can remember everything. Like, literally, I can remember every level. I can remember exactly what I have to do. Oh, it's crazy. How's that one doing? She's doing okay. She's just chilling downstairs watching Law and Order. She's got obsessed with Law and Order recently. So she's just watching that. She's chilling. Yeah, she's doing good. Thank you for asking. Alright. I know there's a camera over there. the fucking aiming in this game though it's garbage it's awful right cameras down there on the right hand side Let's see if i actually remembered yeah there it is Nice cycle. Ooh, time crystal located. That means we're coming towards the end of the level, ladies and gentlemen. Melon! Ah, oh, yeah, if I press that, that's the alarm. Let me wash. She finished in 90 now? No, she's still got three days. Saturday is when she, uh, she finishes. So, after Saturday, she will be officially unemployed. Oh, I thought I could break that. Checkpoint reached. Hey. Yep, there's one. Thank you. 
Thank you. Zombies. Oh, I love it. So fucking good. Uh, didn't that she not get the job in the No, she didn't, unfortunately. She did not. It's a shame, but it's like I said to, said to her, you know. Just keep on that again. Someone will come up. It'll be all right. I didn't burn all the evidence in the filing cabinets. I forgot. Wait, and I meant to... Hey! There we are. Let's go destroy all the filing cabinets. Yeah, because what have I got left then? Deactivate the communications desk. I forgot to do that as well. God, I forgot it all. I'm so useless. Fucking failure. Right. It's alright, we'll destroy them all on the way. We'll be fine. I think that's why I can't get in there, because I've forgotten to destroy um, all the stuff I meant to. I like doing this. Hold on. I like that. That's fun. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's check all those filing cabinets. Also, not the first, like, every single time I think I've played this mission, even way back in the day, despite the amount of times I've played it, I think I still forgot to destroy the dish and still forgot to destroy the filing cabinets. Every time. Like, what the fuck? I am an idiot. Run. Ooh. Can't remember if we get attacked, actually, but yeah. Joe, you know I have to actually come all the way back down here after I destroy the dish. Yep. I know how to make things longer for myself. Jesus. I'm not getting the speed run time for this. What a pubis. Actually, what happens if I... Yeah, I thought you were explosives. I couldn't remember. Wow. Wow. Right. Before we go in there, let's burn all these documents.
two filing cabinets remain. Destroy that while we're here. Escape through the time portal. I think we already got that one, didn't we? How have I forgotten where they are? Literally been two minutes. Like, the levels aren't that big or long either, so... I'm just making them longer for myself because I fuck them up. Excuse me. I can't remember if you do the side objectives, if it actually changes the ending or not, either. Something I just can't remember. <coughs> My name is Ekyo Bravo. There they are. Really? Go over there. E. Now it's got to escape through the time portal. I can't. I don't remember if he get attacked by time splitters here. <clears throat> Success. You have to go to the main menu as well to choose the next mission. Chicago. Oh, I love Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame, Notre Dame, the Wild West, are probably my favourites. Notre Dame in the Wild West. Although Chicago's a good one. Okay, Chicago, downtown, 1932. Big Tony's operations have got a little out of hand. It seems his mob isn't content with running bootleg liquor in the usual protection markets. Word in the street is that Tony has knocked off a shipment of priceless gemstones and he's bringing on his brother in to expand operations. He is encountering on a hard-boiled detective like Jake Fenton showed up. Tony's hiding out in the Sunrise Club, an uh, exclusive exclusive speakeasy. His goons sound like strangers showing up and announced, so you'll need to get a membership card. Mark of the Snitch should be able to help you out. I got you. I got the power up. Power up. Power up. Chicago. And I've had a belly full of it. Everyone's on the take. The DA, City Hall, even the cops on the beat. <laughs> being paid to turn a blind eye. But me? No, I couldn't. So I got out. It's all down to Mr. Big. He's cost me everything. So tonight I send him a message. And boy, will he take the bait. What am I worried about? It's not me that's got to tell the boss. And Francis can handle himself. Yeah, he can look after himself. What? He's back in town. What? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you stupid! <laughs> I want that son of a. I want him dead. You hear me? Dead! 
dead. Yeah, we'll see about that. But from now on, Big, you better watch the shadows. Because I'm taking you down. I'm taking you down. He's so good, all the different characters and stuff. They, do, they did so amazing. I'm so pissed off that they've never made like another Time Splitters. Or even attempted to like remaster the old ones. I don't even for a minute. Return the club house. Let me pick Tony. Receive two interest. Drain the whiskey barrels. There's only three. I can't aim. I'm sorry. I'll be better. I messed it up. I swear to jump on there to get ammo. Oh, that's fine. Ow! Why do I do this to myself? Every fucking time. Every time. I'm an idiot. Okay. Isn't that cool? Two whiskey valves. I mean, it takes so many bullets to empty it, though. Barrel remaining. Hey there, it's Marco. Meet me at the newsstand down the main street. Okay. Marco, Polo. I like how that guy's just walking around like... Wait, was the guy there? I don't think so. Where'd the guy go? Oh. I'm just walking around. Fair. So, we prevented Tony's brother from escaping. Motherfucker. Hey, so that's both of the... Yeah, secondary objectives done. I can't remember if we get a third one or not. Pretty sure there's something in here actually. Alright, let me. Oh, I potted the white. Fuck. I know. Oh yeah, I forgot that he's still got fucking protection missions and stuff, which are uh, tedious to say the least, because they take a while. But that's fine. I 
I can't aim. Gotcha. Get inside. This shoe is taking forever, buddy. Take the pass on the table. It'll get you inside the Sunrise Club. Then Thank the you. Is up to you. Done. Eliminate Big Tony and retrieve Time Crystal. That's it. You can get through these really fucking quickly. But I, th I think... I mean, I could be wrong. Ow! But I'm pretty sure in saying that the third game is the one that has all the... Uh... Third game's the one with all the... Um... Speed and stuff. This one's more just like, eh, you can do it fast if you want. It's more about playing on the harder difficulties of this one. Thank you. Hey, Tony. I'm about to come in there and fuck your shit up. Also, can we talk about the glass physics in this game? Like how good they are. Really? You missed all of those shots? Suck my ass, give me my time crystal. That was the first uh, time splitter we just saw. That just appeared. <laughs> oh, I love this game. All right, Notre Dame, 1895. One of my favorite missions in the entire game. Nin 1895, Notre Dame Cathedral. Night falls on the El de la site and another power Parsimony Madame screams within the cold stone walls of Notre Dame. The riverman talk of a crazed madman leading to a cult of undead followers. Who this? Who is this Jacques de la Morte? What devils does he worship and what black magic does he wield? You must release the damsels in distress from the dark vultures. Vultures? Vaults, my goodness. And make your way through the cathedral to confront Jacques. But hurry, the full moon signals another black mass. And who knows what demons might be summoned with our lady's hallowed, hallowed halls. It's spooky. <laughs> Zombies! This is like one of the best versions. Like, Future Perfect is just this, but way better. But I really like Future Perfect. The hour is at hand. The gates of heaven will be opening for me. Are you a believer? A particular. The angels will come, and you will see your destiny. <laughs> so pure. So innocent. <laughs> Whoosh! It's time! To survive zombie outbreak. Right, what's the rescue the maidens? Make your way to the rooftop. Retrieve time crystal. Eliminate Jack the mod. He Jack Jack's quite a. He's not like a super hard um, boss fight, but he is a he is a little bit more tricky than the average. I wonder how the uh, auto aims all right actually. I was like, do I have to? 
manually aim. He says, is, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's the only problem with zombies. Can't also aim because it will always miss the head, apparently. Bar the one I had a first try earlier. Come on, get up. Get away from me, you fell beast. Nothing down here. Why are they appearing from portals? Ah. Can't let those guys get close. Burn my my tits off. You're welcome. Get the fuck out. Hey, love. Zombies. Woo. Hello. Oops, press the wrong button. I can't remember where the... Yeah, there she is. Hello! Help me! I'm working on it. Love how the auto-aim just shot above his head. Do you wield? I will admit, I love dual wielding in this game. There we go. Help the hunchback escape with the maiden. Hey, it's a hunchback. Welcome. 
Come on, my dear. I gotta make sure he leaves. <coughs> Help the hunchback escape with the maiden. The fucking run that she has. It's atrocious. how far I have to go with these two. I think it's pretty much all the way back to the beginning. There you go. Have fun, Hunchy. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, it's just so good. Fight off the portal demon. Portal demon, fall off. Time to leave. Oh, such a good mission. So good. Easy notes. Return to Planet X. 20, 2280. Return to Planet X. There's been a lot of UFO activity in the gamma sector. The Academy has traced a telemetry back to planet x the ozo and meso fox have been battling to gain control of the planet for some time now and we suspect that factions are cons uh, constructing ships and launching them from a concealed subterranean base wing commander hank nova's patrol has engaged the alien ships just inside the planet's atmosphere perhaps it's time to take a trip down to the surface and see what they can find you can find out this will be a tricky mission but the fighting between the mocks can be used to your advantage remember the ozo and meso hate each other more than they hate you don't be afraid to fight for one side or the other as long as it helps you get closer to the base <laughs> oh, I love this game. Pardon me. Wing Commander, you have veered off target. What's your status? Over. My ass is itchy. Base, the squadron's engaged with the enemy, but I've taken a direct hit. What's your damage, sir? The engine's shaky, but I'll be okay if it doesn't overheat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mayday, mayday, losing altitude. Commander, you just keep that bird in the air. We're sending someone to pick you up. Over and out.
Yeah, this game came out in 2002. Gotcha. It's 22 years old. What the fuck? And the first game was even fucking up. It was even before that. I think it was 2001. So it's 23 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Games are almost as old as me. Ow! What the? How do you get behind me? You sneaky little devil! Hey, it's one of my favorite guns in the game, though. Not my favorite mission, but one of my favorite guns. Mm. God, I love this these games so much. Bye. Uh oh Give me the time crystal. Oh, Jesus. That's a time splitter. Ow! Time crystal again. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, it's up here. There it is. Okay. <laughs> that one's quite short at least. It's a short one. Ooh. Almost to my next favorite one. 2019. Apparently near Tokyo. So we'll see if the uh, <laughs> the technology is what it, they thought it was going to be back then. Fucking 2019, Jesus. Tech quarter. Sadekas, Sadekas hacker gang have stolen a prototype cyber rig. It's definitely not. From the government research labs. Rumours that the rig incorporated some kind of alien biomatter and is powered by crystal latest energy. Fake computer records which the hackers planted at the labs have framed Ghost for the break-in and now police are crawling all over the tech quarter looking for him. The only way for Ghost to clear his name is to trail one of the hackers to their secret research area and gather evidence of their activities. Uh, let's do it. Damn, he went down. He tried though. <laughs> That's the thing. He tried. Oh, I'm not meant to get spotted by a. Uh... I forgot. Luckily, we just have the rewind function, so. The one stealth mission in the entire game. That's like proper stealth. And yes, I do hate it because I hate stealth. Out, I don't remember this game as well as I thought I did. Also, the rain physics, ah, very good for 2002. It's like Blade Runner. Yeah. I am assuming that was what was their inspiration for this one, right?
I mean, it doesn't really matter because there's no one actually looking at the cameras, so it's not like I'm going to get spotted or anything, but I just, you know, just, 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 you know, security, just to be sure. If we're going to be stealthy, we're going to do it properly, you know? <laughs> oh. I love this submachine gun, it's so good. Problem is, I want to try and stay silent for as long as possible. Deactivate the time splitter machine. Isn't that gross? Ah, I forgot you attacked. Got her. What's the time portal again? Okay, no, it's back where we came away. That's pretty cool. Onto the Wild West. The Wild West. Oh. 1853. 1853. Wild West, Little Prospect. The good people of Little Prospect live in terror of the col uh, colonial. Uh, a megalomaniac deserter from the Confederate Army who likes to shoot first and ask questions later. He slandered the local law lady, Ramona Sosa, by putting a false bounty on her head. Now she's slammed up in Gal Cos, folks around these parts just don't seem right from wrong anymore. But grizzled bounty hunters like Elijah Jones aren't so easily put off the trail. The clone, uh, co colonial's a wanted man and there's a reckoning coming. Colonels. I'm guessing that's meant to be colonels. And I'm just reading it like an idiot. Uh, they say he's holding up in the old mine works where he's been uh, digging for something more valuable than gold. Something that ain't quite natural. I wonder if it's a time crystal. <laughs> uh, uh. I love this game. I love Future Perfect a lot more though and I'm looking forward to playing that on stream. I think I've played these before but obviously like I said not on PS5. Shit if... These are games I actively, by the way, play multiple times a year as well. Like, from start to finish. I, I absolutely adore these games. <gasps> hey. Hi. Ooh, spooky. Uh. I want it. Want it. 
dead or alive. Oh, dead or alive. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Just feels good to use as well, especially in like an old western. Snipe is pretty good, but I just I shit with the aiming in this game. That's why I like the auto aiming in this game. It helps out a ton when you're trying to hit stuff. Ow. Oh, I love the music in this. Hey! So fucking good. I forget, what else do I need? Destroy the wanted posters to clear them as then. Oh yeah, we gotta go down there to blow up the thing. Right, before I do that, I forgot about the posters, because I'm a nitwit. I'll get you out now. I'll get you out now. I just want to spend loads of time in the Wild West, you know? Also, the free play, um, or sort of, I guess, the matches you can sort of set up with the computer in Future Perfect, so much better than the matches you can do in uh, Town Splits 2. Oh, yeah. You actually have to make a trail and then go boop. Thanks. You're welcome.
Where are the other wanted posters? I don't know. I got shot. So we just gotta eliminate the kernel and retrieve time crystal. That's it. <clears throat> time crystal located. And we got the time crystal. How did that kill you? Oh, I fell. Me and my boys are gonna whip your furry hide. You keep saying it, but I don't believe you. I'm gonna fill you full of lead. And I'm gonna fill you full of sausage. I mean... Shut up and die already. I repeat, the kernel is down. Dun 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 Ow! Made me fall. God damn it, will you climb? We gotta get back on the tracks. Because technically, you can get the crystal before you kill the colonel. I think. Just like that. Oh, I love that Wild West one. I just, I love the Wild, like anything Wild West, like anything Wild West. Games, films, stuff like that. They're all really good. How long we got now? Just four more. Should we try and get the entire first game done? Oh, I say first game, second game technically. First time they had like a storyline. Atom Smasher. 
Atom Smasher, Kailas Island, 1972. Mr. Kalas has been trying to take over the world again. His secret island base houses a state-of-the-art Atom Smasher. Who knows what his terror organization could do with the unleashed power of subatomic particles? Does Kalas even know himself? Only the most suave and daring international playboy could escape from Kalas's clutches and foil his twisted plans. A special agent, Harry Tipper, is such a man. Be careful, though. This criminal genius is so evil that he would blow up his own island and practice... Accelerate, particle accelerator rather than be brought to justice. You gotta go kick his ass. Can't, you can't be doing that. You gotta go kick his butt. You gotta go kick that butt, then kick it again, and then firmly stick my foot up there. Wake up, Mr. Tipper. Oh, Mr. Tipper. My guest once again. Mr. Bond. I'm still I here. Thank much of the hospitality. You never take your death seriously enough. I thought this had your stench all over it, Kalos. I'm pleased you still have your sense of smell, Mr. Mm -hmm. Let's cut to the chase. Just give me the crystals, <laughs> and maybe I'll go easy on you. You are in no position to bargain. They will be staying with me. Has anyone ever told you you, you have a screw loose? <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes, I will still be in one place. Oh, I love Unlike yourself. Goodbye. Hey, look, we can work this out. Hey, can we talk about this? The sheer amount of luck. Absolutely. Hope you still crazy. got the guarantee, Kalos. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ludicrous. No. I love how all the all the guys are just standing around like, ah, eh, bomb's gonna go off in two minutes. That's fine. We can all die here. It's like you guys don't want to live. Oops. One button. Minimize scientist casualties. Sorry. Thank you. Three bombs remaining. Ooh. To, yeah, I do. I thought so. Ooh. Ow! Bomb detonation in T minus three minutes. 
That's fine. Three minutes is still plenty of time. Ow! Two bombs remaining. Ow! Oh god. Oh. Bomb detonation in T minus four minutes. Okay. Ow! Keep burning myself. Thank you for the armor. I'll take care of that bomb for you. Thank you. Now is it blue over red or red over blue? Bomb red? detonation in T minus three minutes. Cheers, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for disarming that bomb. I gotta try and remember where the last bomb is. Why do I do this? Why have I forgotten where the fucking last bomb is? I think it might be up here. Bomb detonation in T minus three. Yeah, minutes. yeah, I'm aware.
Jesus Christ, why can't I remember where it is? Brain, why are you letting me down? I can't remember if I meant to crawl across there. It doesn't really take me anywhere, does it? However... Dead before the bomb can get me at this right. I literally can't remember how to do this. It is literally like I've completely forgotten. Am I actually going to fail this mission? Because I've forgotten how to fucking do this. I think I'm actually going to fail the mission. I, I literally can't remember where this last bomb is. I have no idea. Couldn't do it to save my life, no pun intended. I believe it's over here, right? Bomb detonation in T minus thirty seconds. I I actually have no idea. I I I legitimately don't know where I'm meant to go, what I'm meant to do here. Um Maybe I've missed something. I uh... Let me go have a look down here. At least I can just rewind. It's a nice feature that they put in on the uh, the PS5. I don't just have to like lose. I must have missed something. Bomb detonation in T minus three minutes. So weird. Oh, I missed this guy right at the beginning. I, I knew I'd missed something, I just didn't know where. Thank you. There we go. Now we can leave. I completely forgot about him. Completely forgot. What a boob. What a boob.
And it was right back at the beginning as well. I can't believe I wasted so much time. <laughs> My apologies. We can leave now. <laughs> we can go in the portal and go home. Born in the USA. What have they done to my boy? <gasps> Do you know what's sad as well? Is I actually think that when I was younger and I used to play through this, I actually think that I used to do that every single time I played this one. I'd always miss him. I have no idea why. I just forget that that area was even there. Bye, fuckers! <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh. These missions should not take that long, but I'm an idiot, so... Alright, 1920, Aztec Ruins. This one's pretty good. Got him. Guatemala, I think. The lost Templar of Tehuk has haunted the mind of Captain Ash ever since he gave up on the military life to pursue doing daring deeds across the continent. In the deepest Guatemalan jungle, it seems that his quest has come for fruition. Finally, the ancient jade crystal artifact will occupy pride of place in his trophy cabinet. But darker forces are afoot. A lost tribe guards these legendary walls, and natives speak of mighty element golems and sentient simon, simians in whispers. Some even say that God from another time walks among them. Does he? I don't think that's true. Yeah, that's just an open one. I want to try and be done by 8 o'clock. Oh, no! I pressed the fucking skip button. I wasn't meant to do that. But I can just rewind. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> good lord. Very good. The crystal's mine, you know. Tittle pep. You devil, let go. You devil, let go. Fell into the water below. Monkey. One of the most famous. Actually, do you know what? Yep, one of the most famous images from this. There, that's Gears of War and Time Splitters in one, so the middle one is actually the monkey. It the monkey. Although I actually think that that symbol is in this game. Somewhere. Been a while, but pretty sure it's. <laughs> Maybe not the first one, but the, it's definitely in the third game. Hello. I'm pretty sure the monkeys are assholes. Where's that other golem that's chasing me? Ow! <laughs> Got 
Got you, bitch. God, the automatic aim. I forgot how dodgy it can be. It can be pretty dodgy. All those bolts were in one of the big guys. Time crystal located. Nah, fuck you, you monkeys. Come back here. Got it. Gollum. Two Gollum. Come on, come here. Why didn't it fucking work? My goodness. Come on. Monkey? Defeat the golems. That's the next one. That was another time splitter. Yeah, that's probably one of my least favorite ones. It's one of the shortest in the games, though. Thankfully. In the game, thankfully. So, but that's for, yeah, that's probably one of my least favorites. Hell yeah! You made it, Eagle. What? 
Hurry! Good luck. Thanks. One more. Well, yeah, one more crystal and then final mission. Alright. 2315, Robot Factory. This one's pretty cool. Uh, after the machine wars, the mighty foundries and production lines finally fell silent, except for one. Ultranet sources have revealed that the Dark Machinist child has activated a power node network and seeks to build a robot army to extract his revenge. Neutralize his factory before he can reawaken a dreadful conflict. Once you have accessed the inner processing area, you should proceed immediately with destroying the individual energy nodes. These nodes are extremely robust and cannot be damaged using controversial firearms. Conventional, sorry. Controversial. Content. They're all... Con con <laughs> My goodness. Words are hard. However, the factory may still contain a small number of electro tools. Portable generators that were used in the construction of the factory itself, which may be capable of load-loading nodes using a sustained beam of electricity. Once the nodes have been disabled and the production lines finally silenced, your last objective should be to find the Dark Machinist child and ensure he is stopped for good. Alrighty. I can do that. I can make that happen. Cyberbot. That works. The door's locked. Uh oh. my childhood. Up, up, and away.
Ooh, the laser gun. I do like the laser gun. It's not the best, but it's fun to use. And that's all you can really ask for. I was meant to go in the other one. I like how you can grab double. Yup, two energy nodes remain. Ammo. I mean armor. Ammo. I mean I did get some ammo, but armor slightly more important.
I'm trying to remember how to turn that out. Oh, there we go. Just defeating all the enemies, does it? Cool. Whew. The la last mission is genuinely very, very good. Um. Mm. There you go. All right. Are we ready? Last mission. 2041. 20, 20, 24, Space Station. Here we go. The final, my God, because it's too dark. Time to get the fuck out of here. Went the wrong way, my bad.
Oh, a little baby one. This was doing multi. Time Splitters was doing multiverses before Marvel. I forgot to put the suit on, but that's fine. I should have put the suit on. Minigun time. Down to the hangar. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the ending of Time Splitters 2. I'm still here. Don't worry, I'm still here.
Well, there you have it. Time Splitters 2. Do you know what the thing is? It is genuinely a really fun game. Like, the Time Splitter series is, in my opinion, criminally underrated. New arcade level available, new cheats available. Yeah, that's a thing as well. You get cheats and stuff, which is fun. Yeah, now, yeah. But yeah. I love how triangle isn't working. So I can't I can't go back to the menu. Weird. But yeah, that's Time Splitters 2 from start to finish, ladies and gentlemen. And on that note, I am going to end the stream here. I hope everybody enjoyed the stream today. Mum, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And thank you for the follow earlier, mate. I appreciate it very much. We are one follow away from that coveted 300. I'm very much looking forward to doing a 12-hour horror stream with you guys. But, uh, yeah, I'll be streaming again hopefully tomorrow, um, depending on how I'm feeling and how it goes, of course. But, yeah, this was fun. I had a really, really fun time doing this today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. We've done a lot of different things, a lot of fun stuff. So, uh, you know, I'm glad that we could do that and, and you know, have a good time and... Just, just enjoy, you know? Just enjoy. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next stream, which will be tomorrow. Take care of yourselves, and goodbye for now.